should be working. Is working. Try talking in sentences, not clicking noises. Well, it's working. I can see it going up and down. Eat your Girl Scout cookies and shut the fuck up. Don't tell me to shut up. Uh, eat your forty fucking dollar pack of cookies. Leave me and my four dollar pack of cookies alone. Those Girl them. Scouts are fucking. I only get them once like a year. Like drug dealers. They Some really like expensive are. shit, man. I bet they have crack in these cookies. Not expensive shit. Trying to see, I'm trying to go to try to find my stream, guys. If you guys can hear me or not, I have to see if I can find my stream on here. You know, I used to be a cross guy, right? I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I'm calling with a cross guy. Okay. A lot of girls were Girl Scouts. I was a Girl Scout. Yeah, you weren't. Yeah, I was. Facts. Lies. Total facts. I'm just trying to get everything set up here, bitches, if you guys can see me or not. Hopefully. I don't see the stream, so it doesn't look like it's working. Well, it notified me. Did it? Yeah. It must be working, then. I'm trying to find it, guys. Give me a minute. I have to find it on my phone. Yeah, people are in the chat. Are they? Mm -hmm. They say they see you. Dope. You guys hear me all right? Let's get these technical difficulties out of the way. I don't know how they see you. They can't see me. Well, they said, someone said I see you. Romania Deluxe, 15 watching. I see it. You're live. I'm live, bitches. Sweet, man. This shit works. Loud and clear. Dopeness. Yeah, I got it set up on my... Uh, I put it on my Microsoft Surface, 2, Surface <laughs> Pro 2 and got it set up downstairs so I can actually be comfortable and play fucking ROMs, bitches. I got this shit set up. I think it's even set up even better on my fucking Surface Pro 2 than anything else. Get like, get the chat up on your uh, laptop. Right Put it on your laptop so I can actually see it. Okay. You want to set it in the middle? Yeah, just set it up to where we can read it and shit. Okay. What's up, bitches? What, what? Now that you can hear me, I can start masturbating. Fuck yeah. Guys, me and my girl's got cookies. I'm gonna masturbate on your Girl Scout touch cookies. My Give them some cream food. My okay, who here in the chat would uh, like to join me in saying that Girl Scout cookies are overrated as a motherfucker? But they're not. Okay. Can I get a can I get a hallelujah? They're can I get a no box of cookies is worth four fifty? They're amazing. No. They ain't that good. What's up, Muda? Hi, Muda. I'm sure Mudahar agrees that Girl Scout cookies are not worth Shut almost five dollars for like three and a half of them. I could have gotten two boxes over for five dollars. Overrated sauce. You're overrated. Preach it. Hallelujah. See, you can get cookies that taste just like that. They're no, just you thin mints. Yeah, they're 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 thin mints are, are everywhere. No, they're not. Well, that's that's what we're eating. It's thin mints. They're okay. Let's not bust a fucking vessel here. Well, uh, they're amazing. One of my co-workers used to work at the factory where the cookies come from. They are literally the same ones that, that the ones are at, at Kroger. Don't tell me. I told you, babe, I told you you can get those at Kroger. She don't want to listen. She thinks that these fucking cookies are like, and, and they found them in a temple in one of Indiana Jones' temple, and they had to get past booby traps to get to them and shit. And then they're fucking holy or something. Exactly. You can get Thin Mints any, anywhere. Mm -hmm. They cost like a buck. They don't taste the same. Bingo. No, yeah, they say do. Even Muda Har says. I don't the Girl Scout. I would know. All right, bitches. I was gonna kick back and play a little ROM action McGee here. I'm getting. I got my Super Nintendo um, SNES Classic controller hooked up with a conversion cable up to my Raspberry Pi. So got it fucking kicking old school here, bitches. Old style. Kingdom Come's Deliverance is pretty good. I haven't played it too much though. It's fucking hot in here, man. Open a window here pretty soon. Can you turn the air on? Yeah, I might have. Yeah, let me turn the air on. I got my blanket. It's hot and shit. I 
the air conditioning has not been on in a while. It has been on since summertime. Yeah, it has been on in a grip. Ah, let's cool it down. Awesome. Thanks for the donations, guys. Let me tell you guys, let me tell you guys a story here. Okay. Donations are more, <laughs> more than needed right now because I got totally fucked on that Fiero, guys. I mean, you know, I at a certain point, you come to think that, you know, maybe it's going to be my time and... You know, maybe I'm going to do something that's actually going to fucking work out. And uh, I should know better that I'm me and that that's just, just not going to happen. So, you know, the Fiero is in the shop basically having to get an entire fucking... It needs to be just... The engine needs to be rebuilt and all this fucking shit, guys. It, it is absolutely nonsense. So I, I got pretty much fucked on that car. And it's going to cost me an arm and a leg to fucking fix it, guys. And, it, and it's just... It's horrendous. I was driving it over the weekend. Not really, babe. I mean, it doesn't go that far. It's on the charger. Um, I can see it on my phone, I guess. Okay, well. But so I was driving it over the weekend, and I'm going down country roads, and me and Ani are just chilling in the car, and I start hearing this noise from the back, and Ani had just put groceries back there, and I told her, I'm like, I'm like, did you put some groceries on top of the engine or something? Like, sounds like something's thumping around back there. So I stopped it, and sure enough, there's a fucking knocking in the goddamn engine. So it's a fucking spun bearing in the fucking engine. So something fucking happened. Either my oil pump stopped or some other fucking bullshit. So got pretty much. Uh, yeah, let me, I'll type in my PayPal if you guys want to do any, any kind of donations, because that'll probably be better here. So I'll, here's my PayPal. Uh, sign, it's silentrob69 at yahoo.com. So, there it is. But yeah, it fucking sucks, guys. It's literally going to be pretty much the cost of the car to fix this car. And I don't really have a choice to do it. I have to do it. So I'm, you know, coming up with money here and there. Some people are helping me out. I'm selling stuff. I'm probably going to have to uh, sell my PS1 games or something if I can't come up with a little bit of money. So, and I'm, I'm going to end up selling those for way less than they're worth. So, I got I just got to come up with the money. And this Fiero is going to cost a fortune at this point. So, it fucking sucks. I got nobody to blame but myself, man. But, I, you know, this car really looked like it was going to be good, you know. And it had no, no telling that it was going to do this. I had a couple car guys look over it, and they were saying it was solid. And it fucking blows, dude. That's my luck, guys. I've literally gone through two cars within two months. I bought a Santa Fe for my dad, and the first day of me buying it and driving it, the transmission blows on it. Not even 24 hours. Not even 24 fucking hours, guys. So that was almost $1,000 down the drain. And then now this, and it's just a fiasco, man. So. Yeah, if you, if you, I mean, I'll probably sell my PS1 games. Um, those should be worth at least a couple thousand. So. Yeah, it sucks balls, guys. I haven't even paid the car. I haven't even made one payment on the car yet. And now I, I pretty much have to pay the amount of the car just to fix the car. It needs an overhaul, man. The fucking... needs a cooling pipe that has to be specially made. It needs fucking shocks. It needs a oil pump. And it, it's a fiasco, guys. So definitely appreciate it at this point. If, if you guys can do anything for sure. You don't have to, but it's definitely appreciated. And it's going to go to that. So... It sucks, but I got a couple of donations of games here, so let me get to those. Um, somebody said, what is it, Quarth? Is that what it is? I don't think I've heard of that. Quarth on the Game Boy. All right, let's get to it. I don't know if I've ever played that. I mean, there's a lot of Game Boy games that I have just never really played. Yeah, it, it's, it's, it sucks, guys. But it's, it's one of those things where it's like... At a certain point, I think that, you know, my luck's going to change and something's going to work out for me, man. And Ani will tell you, man, like, I was literally on the verge of crying, guys. Like, I, I just, I can't, I can't take it anymore. You know, like, I, I just feel like nothing works out for me. Like, everything I go to do ends up in some kind of fiasco, man. And it's just, it's getting to the point where I just don't even want to leave the house anymore. Like, it's just, it's just sad. No, it's getting to that point. So, next thing, my main car will probably blow up, and it's just, ugh. 
Garbage. It's fucking garbage. So, I, oh, okay. I was going to say this is a European version, but USA and European. What the fuck is a quarth? That's a noise that you fucking... It's a noise you make when you bust a huge nut. Quart! <laughs> Quart! Now, that's my same mic. This is my uh, Blue Yeti. Let me turn it down on my TV a little bit here. Make sure it's not too loud or anything. Does everything, everything sound good? Is the game volume not too loud or anything here? Quart! Oh, what is this? I need this called Quarth Garbage. You know it's the best game ever made, right, babe? No, babe. It's not even the best game ever made. Uh, yeah. not, not to a lot of people. What the fuck is this nonsense? Yeah, uh, game volume's not too loud. I can turn the game volume down if it's too loud. Let me know. Sounds alright. What is this, man? Is this a puzzle game? What? Mofo, like please. Fun. What the fuck is this? What was this, like Tetris? That with <laughs> you shoot stuff? You gotta get it where it, yeah. What is this nonsense? What? You you shoot. Uh, I kind of like this. Okay, all right. Giggity, giggity. All right, it's cool. Cool. I never played this. Oh, I could get into this, man. If I bought this as a kid, I would totally dig this. Rocket Knight Adventures. Nice. That's a classic right there, yo. Yeah. Quarth. Oh, I don't know why this game failed. <laughs> and nobody ever heard of it. We called it Quarth. We thought that would just roll off the fucking tongue. It's like... Yeah, it's, it's really simple. I like it. It's really slow, man. It's like the, the uh, puzzle pieces have like like some kind of serious arthritis thing coming going on. <laughs> Rolling down in an almost dead Walmart shopping cart. It looks like they're shooting this. Uh, yeah, shooting is. It's just weird. It's just. I'm sure it goes faster as the levels go up and shit. So, but what's the point? You just shoot it and make the. Yeah, it's like Tetris, but you're a ship shooting the blocks instead of just stacking, stacking them. Okay. okay, so that was level one. Alright, I guess that was a level. <laughs> huh, maybe not. Oh, nope. Cool. Thanks, thanks guys for the donations, man. I appreciate it. I'm trying to hang in there, man. I am super, super depressed off this shit, though, man. It, is, it has got me stressed out to the point where I'm like... I'm like, I got the shakes, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, it's keeping me up at night, I'm not getting any sleep. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to come up with this money, and it's just, it's a fiasco, guys. $5 yeah, i seen that, I appreciate that. Whoa, I got some kind of item or something. I haven't slept in like four days. So I might not be too talkative in this stream, but I'm going to try, guys. I got to get my mind off this shit. Um, David Hardy... You sent me some money in through PayPal? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. David Hardy helped me out quite a bit with it, too. So, basically, the, basically where we're at is the guy... I had to put a down payment on it. The guy has to take apart the engine to see um, if the drive shaft is salvageable. If it's salvageable, it won't be as bad. Uh, if, they, if he's got to resurface the drive shaft or the... What is it? The crankshaft. If it has to be resurfaced, it's going to be even more money. So, it's just a fiasco, man. I was really hoping... Like I said, I, was, I, I know these cars aren't the most reliable thing in the world, but I was hoping that it was going to last at least a couple years, man. I never bought a car where the engine just immediately gives on it. And I've been driving the hell out of that thing, man. Me and Ani have been taking it out, what, every night? Yeah. We've been driving all over the place in it. I haven't been able to sleep because I'm worried about this fucking car, man. This fucking thing is going to bankrupt me. Like, it's an as-is car. The dealer 
The dealer was saying in the beginning that they were going to try to help me out a little bit the best they could, but now they're dodging me. And if I can't get a hold of them here in a couple days, uh, it ain't going to be pretty because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fucking go down there and cause a bunch of hell. It's all right, guys. I appreciate you guys' concerns and everything. That's why I'm. That's why I'm streaming, man. I gotta get my mind off this shit. Ani will tell you I've been a wreck. Yeah, he hasn't been in salt at all since this all happened. I've been a wreck, man. It's just, it's fucking yeah. exasperating. It's exasperating. We're not exactly where we should be financially either. So no, not. I can't deal all. with this fucking car right now, man. I mean, Jesus Christ. The dealer was acting like they knew nothing about it, but at the same time, I, I mean, think did, I think he fucking did, because man. He even told you that one, that yeah, he said. Not working. Yeah, the the guy said that the uh, Mini Cooper that he was selling had a knock in it, and he was trying to get people to fucking buy it. So this one has a knock, and now here we are. Three weeks later. Oh, thanks, Flame Hero, man. Thanks, dude. That's awesome, man. Fifty dollars for my homie, dude. Appreciate it, guys. It goes. To, well, no, you know, it takes a little while to process and shit, right, but, but it, goes through. it goes through the PayPal. So that's why I took the. Uh, oh, thanks, guys. Man, you guys are so generous, man. Yeah, this shit is fucking. This shit's gonna give me a fucking stroke. Yeah, dude, I, I, I'm, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna play a, I'm gonna play a different game, guys. That, that is a cool game, though. Quarth is cool. Someone asked you if you're finishing games again on this stream. Whatever that's supposed to mean. Games yeah, I don't know. I, I'll, I'll pretty much play anything you guys want. We don't have to just do NES. Um, somebody said <laughs> Mario Two NES. Man, I haven't played Mario Two NES in a while. Man, that's a, that's a good choice. Let's play some of that. I played Mario 2 a lot when I was a kid, but I would always play the uh, Mario All-Stars version. Oh, thanks, man. Dude, it's 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 horrible, dude. And, you know, and, and like I said, this has been my dream car for like 20 years, man. Like, I, I've I've even talked to Ani in the past about getting a fear. I'm like, oh, man, these fears. And I look at them, and I'm just like, man, this is my dream car. So we and, find and I find one that's two hours away, and I drive two hours away. I'm fucking overjoyed about this car. And then it fucking does this, man. It's just fucking bullshit. Yeah. Ah, damn. It never ends with it, man. Never ends with anything. Never ends. We have a lot going on. And, uh, yeah, I was, try I was gonna try to save for a fucking house, and this car is just gonna wreck it. Wreck all of it. This thing is turning into a nightmare car for sure, guys. Yeah. Like, I mean, and here's here's what I'm here's what I'm gonna say that's gonna happen right now. I'm gonna call it right now. I'll end up getting it fixed, and, and you I'll watch the transmission will fucking blow on it. Yeah, and then we'll run out here. And, and then it'll just be a car that sits there that I can't even drive that I gotta make payments on, guaranteed. That's my luck, guys. I, I have very rarely ever gotten a car that's ever been worth a damn. And I gotta I gotta trade my. I was gonna get you guys' opinion on this. And you guys can tell me your opinion. I'm going to start getting people's opinions before I start doing things. Um, because obviously I can't make decisions. Because I'm a fucking retard. So I'll get you guys a decision. Okay. So I, I got to get... I have a Pontiac G5. It's got 114,000 miles on it. It's a 5-speed. Okay. It's been a pretty good car. It's got a little dent in the fender. I mean in the bumper. And uh, typical... You know, it's a little noisy. Uh, I think it's got like a... A sway bar that needs replaced or something doesn't affect the driving it's a good car Ani can't drive it Ani needs a car like to be able to drive to she just cannot learn how to drive stick she just doesn't really want to either so I got my g5 on there on uh, Facebook marketplace right now oh thanks raccoon fiend dude um thanks guys um so, so, for like trade, so like not really for so much for sale because I can't really sell it because it's my only car right now. Um, but for trade, so somebody offered me a 2002 Cadillac DeVille with the same amount of miles on it that's an automatic for, for like trade. And I told him I'd think about it. Is that a good car or is that a piece of shit? I know that's got the North Star in it. Uh, so I'm not 100% sure. I don't know if those had problems. Uh, you guys have to tell me. 
I don't know. I told him I'd think about it, so I'm not sure, you know, if I'll look at it. But it looks like it's really nice. Dark Tour Ninja said I wouldn't get a Cadillac. Yeah, I, I, I had a Cadillac before, and it wasn't great. So, don't do it. Yeah, I, I had somebody else tell me not to do it, too. I guess this was a one-owner car. He got it from an old lady that died in an auction or something like that. And you know, sometimes, most times, when old ladies drive cars, they're pretty good cars. Because they only drive well, I know that these... Yeah, but these North Star engines, babe. I don't know. I don't know anything about North Star. It's a V8. It's a powerful engine, but... Maybe a Chevy... A Somebody else... I've had... My one friend had a Cadillac, and it was a pile of shit. But it was an older one. You've seen like one person had a Cadillac who didn't regret it. That sounds about right, dude. So I'll probably pass on that. I just wanted to get you guys' opinion. I really want to get a Toyota, but I don't think anybody's going to trade a Toyota for a, for a G5. There's nothing wrong with the G5. I'll be straight up with you guys. So if any of you guys live close and you got like a old Toyota that you want to trade for a Pontiac G5 5-speed, let me know. Let me know, and I'll, you know, I'll, I'll trade straight up. It's a good car. It's just, it's just I need something that Ani can drive. She can't drive this five-speed. It's a, it's a fun five-speed too. I mean, it's, it's a. This car gets 30 miles per gallon easily. It's really good on gas. Someone said get a Honda Odyssey. No, I'm not. A Honda would be nice, but usually Hondas are expensive. They are. But it just depends. Toyotas are probably the, some of the cheaper, like more affordable cars you. Yeah, if anybody that lives near here knows anybody that would trade something like, something like that for a, for a G5, I'm down like a clown, Chili Brown. I'm just sick of driving everywhere, and Ani needs to drive to work and shit, like when I'm off, so I don't have to drive her everywhere. And then she, you know, once I get the Fiero back, like, she's tried to drive the Fiero, and she just, just too powerful. panics in it. Shit, man, I can't get up there. I thought I could make this jump. I was gonna say. Get a, I'll get a get a tank, man. Someone said I would I would trade my Toyota if I knew how to drive stick. It's easy to learn, apparently. It's easy to learn, man. I can teach you how to drive. If you're nearby, I could literally teach you how to drive stick in probably like 15 minutes. It's not hard to drive stick, bro. Yeah. Stick is easy. It's fun too. Once you learn how to drive stick, it's fun. <laughs> Dragon you're funny. You can pretend like you're in a video game. And I and I just put some Alpine speakers in this car too. So That's true. They just, they, they Yeah, I put some brand new fucking almost three hundred watt Alpine speakers in this car like maybe three weeks ago. No, I can't yeah. Anybody that lives nearby, I mean. But it's up on F Facebook Marketplace right now. I've gotten a few offers, but the Cadillac DeVille was the only real one that seemed, like, legit. Other people want to know what the price is. I've had a lot of inf uh, people asking about, like, prices and stuff, but I can't really sell it because it's my only car right now. Until I get the Fiero back, so I don't know what I'm going to do. Thanks, guys. 25 to my PayPal. Oh, thanks, dude. Yeah, Toyota or Honda, man. That seems to be the way to go. I appreciate it, dude. Thanks so much, guys. Guys, this is my homies. Cadillac. Cadillac seemed... My friend... Remember I told you guys that, that story about my friend that had that Cadillac and nothing worked in it? Literally, the windows didn't work. The windshield wipers didn't work. And he would want to, like, hotbox it in the fucking Cadillac with the windows wouldn't roll down. And it was a black on black, black cat. It was the shadiest fucking drug dealer Cadillac you've ever seen in your fucking life. And he would want to hotbox it in this fucking thing where the goddamn windows didn't roll down. Yeah, their trainees are weak with the automatics and the Hondas, depending on what year you get. I want to get a Toyota camera. I don't want nothing special, man. Like, if somebody was to offer me an O2... Toyota Camry with 160,000 miles on it for my car, I would do it straight up. We literally just need a car. I would do it straight up. Five people in it, and that we 
As long as it's a four door and it's yeah. an automatic, I would trade my 07 stick shift, good as fuck on gas, for something like that. I can't afford a Tesla, dude. There's no way. <laughs> Te that's a $35,000 car, bro. <laughs> I can't afford that shit. Those things are expensive as fuck to fix, too, because not a lot of mechanics know anything about those cars. Man, the slowdown in this game is brutal. I forgot how NES version has slowdown central in it. Everything happened to the car. Everything. Everything that could go wrong with the car went wrong with the so car. Listen, I like I said, it, it, it started out like the car was just kind of acting up and idle. And then, the, before I knew it, the check engine light came on. And the next thing I know, it is flipping the fuck out, man. So yeah, it's it's bullshit. Uh, somebody else just texted me about the car. Really? They said, "Is it available?" Say yes. I'll say you got anything to trade. Celtic white. I'm the one that needs the car. Yeah. So I can drive. Yeah, that did bullshit. Work. Yeah, I, I, oh yeah, I'm watching out for those scammers for sure, guys. If, if I was to do a trade, I'm going to come to you guys first, let me tell you. Because obviously I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in life. Okay, if I take a dump and I need to wipe my ass with a certain brand of toilet paper, I'm coming to you guys first. Don't be too picky because my coupon girls give me that. Okay, let me tell you. I'm not going to wipe my ass with anything that you guys don't approve of. Because I'll get hemorrhoids and shit. Knowing my fucking luck. I'll get some hemorrhoid infection and fucking die. Because obviously I can't fucking do nothing right, dude. Jesus Christ. Can't even go to McDonald's and get a chicken sandwich. I'll probably fucking get food poisoning and die off of it. Oh, could have got the burger. Chose the chicken. Now I'm dead. Oh, story of my fucking life, man. God damn it. So fucking happy. One time. One time in my life. Can I please be happy? Can I just please be happy for more than five fucking goddamn minutes without... Who goes through two cars in two months? Us. I mean, how's that even happen? Because you bought one. That's I had to fucking take the goddamn car. fucking Santa Fe to the big damn junkyard. Now I got this fucking bullshit. I could probably drive a triple whopper. It, a triple whopper is more drivable than my goddamn fucking Fiera now at this point. The engine is getting worked on. That's what's going on with the Fiera. Bullshit is what it is. Once it's all done, man, I'll, I'll, I'll take a picture of the receipt on what this shit is going to be, and you guys will shit your pants on how much this is going to cost. I'll tell you straight up. I think I can fly to that vase from the tail. No, maybe not. It might be a little bit too far. I'm going to go around. Eh, it ain't far anyways. I'm going to give this car one chance with trying to fix it, and if it fucks up again, it's gone. And what, in his micro machines? <laughs> what the fuck? Alright, I think I'm in World 6. I think you need Toad for World 6. Go buy a jetpack. Is it raining outside? No, it's supposed to snow tomorrow, though. My air conditioning's on. You might hear that. I don't know. Oh, shit. Yeah, you probably hear the air conditioning. Which, it feels a lot better in here. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. At least it's not, like, overly hot in here. Like it's hot as fuck. I'm just waiting for it to cool off. It's better than it was. Mmm, so glad I got this, um... I got my fucking Raspberry Pi working down here. Originally, I only got it working upstairs because I have my computer upstairs and I need my computer for the Elgato. But I was able to get it working on my Samsung tablet. I was worried the specs wouldn't be high enough. Oh, shit! $10 donation. Desert Ferret 7. Thanks, man. Desert Ferret 7. Desert Mario Bros. 2 is a perfect, perfect successor. Okay, guys, let's play something else. I think I got some other donation here. He's the perfect predecessor to Mario Brothers 1. <laughs> yeah, he is. Dude, if I got a helicopter, the fucking immediately the fucking propellers would fly off right into my ass. 
You wouldn't even get it off the I ground. wouldn't even make it home, and I guaranteed. Oh, thanks, Chad, man. I appreciate that, dude. I got the worst luck with cars, bro. It's just it's a story of my life. Machine Hunter on PS1, if you put a... In the password screen, it Cobra gives you 20. level to select. I, I, don't, I can't really play that, bro, because I don't have it on my um, Raspberry Pi. But if you want to choose something else, man, you can definitely pick another game. I pretty much have every Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis. Um, Great Exposure got married. Oh, did he? He said, I'm pretty much married. That's good, man. Congrats, brother. Joining the, the marriage group here. <laughs> the marriage club. Rocket Knight Adventures. Okay, the next pick was Rocket Knight Adventures, so let's do that. Use your booster board. That's funny. <laughs> Get yourself a horse. If I had a horse, it would. I'd buy it and it would immediately have explosive diarrhea. It would just have diarrhea all over the place. Dysentery to death. Wouldn't wouldn't work. Trust me, bitches. Uh, Rocket Knight Adventures is on Genesis, right? I believe so. Great exposure. That just means that you are common law married. If you've been here with for almost a decade. That's more than seven years. Bucky O'Hare. Oh, Rocket Line Adventures. Let's go to the courthouse and get married now. Here we go. This game rocks. Good choice. Good choice. Get a catapult. If I got a catapult, it, it would be like fucking like one of them Acme fucking goddamn Wile E. Coyote things where it would just slam me right into the ground face first. And I'd be paralyzed from the eyebrows down for the rest of my life. Well, then, I, then I'd, be, I'd be doing a stream. Well, guys, the catapult didn't work out, man. It's in the shop. I had to go two hours to get the catapult in the first place. And... Oh, thanks, Darkstar Ninja. Felix the Cat. Very nice choice. That is a chill game. That's a chill game, my friends. Yeah, Catapult pretty much paralyzed me from the hair down. This is a great game. Well, then, stay calm while I'm married. Didn't they make another one of these? Rocket Knight games? Yeah, what was it called? Why does it look like Back to the Future? It's not Back to the Future. No, what are you talking like about? The, the lettering. Oh, the lettering? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, didn't they make another one of these Rocket Knight games? Here, recently? No, they made a newer one, didn't they? They make a... I thought they made, like, a sequel here fairly recently. But, but like, nobody liked it. I thought it was on PS3. Yeah, I got remade for Xbox. It wasn't that great on PS3. Yeah, on PS3, that was it. Yeah, and the new one wasn't great. I remember, because I remember that and DuckTales, like, pissed everybody off. Oh, yeah, you gotta hold the button what's for the this worst? one. Someone asked you, hey, Rob, what's the worst fetish of all time? What's the worst fetish of all time? Uh, probably the fat girl fetish. Or the feet fetish. I don't understand the feet thing. No, I don't. I don't have any kind of fetish at all, really. I, I, I like things. I like girls' asses, but I'm not going on asses.com and fucking beating my meat to them all day long and taking pictures of random girls' asses and all this crazy shit. I, I, the whole feet fetish thing has always been mystifying to me. <laughs> Like feet or feet, like I don't get it. Maybe some people think asses are asses too. Yeah, those go beyond fetish into like mental illness. So I don't even know if I would even count those. I don't get the foot fetish thing, dude. I really don't. Feet or feet, like I don't know. Oh man, I'm getting my ass fucking smoked. Yeah, I don't understand why people are not like. I mean, whatever gets your rocks off, but at the same time, I don't get it. Some guys like them fucking plumpers, man. They love them big bitches. 
love picking up their stomachs in order to find the vag, I guess. I like to go splunking. Skin splunking. No, that's deep, that's deep, deep, diving. Skin, diving. deep skin diving. Oh, here's, here's health. I, I forgot what health was for a minute. I was like, what the fuck is health? Oh, what up, bitches? Dude, I, I've known people that likes fucking fat girls, dude. Like, it ain't, it ain't no joke. It's a real thing. This dude I knew would not date any, any girl, like, under, like, three or four hundred pounds, dude. I'm just like, I'm like, dude, you would basically fuck livestock. I mean, I used to ask him, I'm like, dude, when you, when you eat bacon, does that, like, turn you on? Like, do you think about the, the pig that you're eating right now? Like... When you go to a farm, dude, do you just bust an immediate what nut? As thick, Rob? thick? I don't know, man. There's a big difference between thick and morbidly obese. Doesn't seem to be. Thick is like still, still like attractive. I don't know. I guess Kim to Kardashian's thick. I guess. That's just her ass. Her ass is thick. Oh, I'm flying through the air, man. Man, this game fucking kicks ass. I don't, I don't have no time fucking around thinking about thick bitches. I'm, I'm, I, I'm, I'm fucking married. <laughs> I can think about hot ass bitches like Zoe Deschanel. Ani's gonna have plastic surgery to look like her pretty soon. She just doesn't know it yet. She just doesn't know it yet. Dude, somebody said Roach likes fat girls. Dude. Uh, when I was, when we were still friends and shit, that motherfucker dated one of the nastiest pigs you've ever seen, dude. Like, and I remember when he started dating her, too, like, it was funny as fuck. He's like, yeah, man, like, she's, like, I, I, I met her at work, and she's pretty hot and everything, and I remember he wanted me to meet her, and, like, she comes over to talk, like, she comes walking down, it was literally, like, shallow how, dude, and he's all like, oh, there she is, and I was like, I was like, is she behind the rhinoceros? Like, did she eat your girlfriend? I'm like, oh, man, that fucking rhino ate your girl, bro. He's like, no, that's her, man. And she came up and talking to me. I was like, Jesus Christ, bro. Her name is Zoe. I think it's Zoe. It's Zoe. It? Her name's not Zooey. No, but the way That's just the way it's spelled. It's Zoe, trust me. That's my girl you're talking about here. You don't think I know how to say her name? Pronunciation. Pronunciation. It's all about that. It's Zoe. She doesn't say it like that, though. Trust me. Well? Oh, God. I forgot about this part. What do you think of food sex, Rob? Uh, food sex is fucking weird. Did you spell the Z O O E Y? Yes! Zoe Deschanel. That's. Babe, it doesn't mean that you pronounce every letter and everything. It's just spelled differently. Do you like when people call you Annie? No. It's pronounced Annie. It doesn't mean anything. Zoe. Yeah, I mean, she's hot as fuck. She's hot as fuck. Her and, uh... Juliette Lewis, I've always had a crush on. From uh, Natural Born yeah, Killers. And. That girl from. Uh, uh, Wednesday Adams, the girl that plays Wednesday Adams. Always had the hots for her. If I can get all three of those, and we have like a. If I, get, if I can get all those together, we have sex with all of them at the same time. Zoe De Chanel, Juliette Lewis, and look her up. And Wednesday Adams, girl plays Wednesday Adams. Oh shit! Oh, I forgot about this boss. Oh, didn't I already fight this punk? Emma Stone's pretty good looking. Oh god. I don't like, like, classically hot girls, like, you know, what everybody thinks is hot. Like, I like, you know, 
mixing it up a little bit. Yeah, you know. Well, I like redheads. That's why I married you. I like them redhead. Mm -hmm. This boss is bullshit. Oh god. Oh, Christina Ricci. Yeah, that's who. Christina Ricci, Juliette Lewis, and Zoe Deschanel all at the same time. It's a dream of mine. You're not gonna let my dream come true, babe? We're supposed to support our fucking dreams. Don't look up a current picture of Juliette Lewis. You gotta look what she used to look I'm like. Not. And who are you looking up? Zoe Deschanel is not gross, babe. Shut your mouth. I, I Ain't nobody in this chat gonna agree with you on that. I didn't say she was gross. Then what'd you say? Why'd you say ooh then? To somebody else that you said. Who? Julia Lewis? No. Who? I don't remember. It was like the last Christina girl. Ricci? Yes. She is not ugly, and there ain't nobody in this fucking chat gonna agree with you on that. Christina Ricci has an anime forehead, though. She has a big old forehead. Big old target to nut on. Skeet, skeet. I do Jennifer Gray over. Jennifer Gray pre nose job. Yes. Okay. All right. Absolutely. All right. I'm sure the chat would agree with you. Jennifer Gray pre nose job. God, that that was one fucking level. Jesus Christ. These levels are long as titties. Old lady titties. Oh shit. Ah, I can't remember if I've ever beat this game. I know I got close. Dirty Dancing Jennifer Grey. Yeah, Dirty Dancing Jennifer Grey is pretty hot. Oh, God. I give you a lot of health in this game, I will say that. Juliet Lewis, but sometimes. Juliet Lewis, depending on. You know, sometimes she looks like a drug addict, though. You gotta get, like, a certain picture of her. Juliet Lewis, I like Juliet Lewis because you can look at Juliet Lewis and you know she takes it in the butt. Like you just know it. Are you talking about her? Show me. Yeah, she's hot as fuck. She's the girl hot. from Christmas Vacation, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know she takes it in the butt, right? Yeah. Yeah, she takes it in the butt. For sure. There's just some girls you can look at and trust me guys, I know. You know if they take it in the butt or not. Juliet Lewis, she does. A shout. What was my last donation here? I gotta check it. $50. Kim Control. Kim Control. All right. Kim Control. I'm down with that. Fifty dollars. I'm trying to see what the fifty dollar donation said. Go back up and look at what that said, babe. Look up what the fifty dollar donation said, so I can read it. I, I might have already read it, but I can't remember. Because my phone went off and now it, I can't go back on my messages. Yeah, Kim Control, uh, Mannequin, Big Trouble in Little China, Kim Control, yes. Sex in the City, Kim Control, eh, she can suck my dick, I guess. I mean, if, I, if she's got to. You deserve better luck. Oh, thanks, dude. <laughs> I. I appreciate it, guys, because I, you know, it's never going to change, guys. If I told you some of the shit, I haven't even told you guys some of the bad shit that's happened to me over the years. I try to just tune it out and just, especially with cars, man, like, god damn, dude. I remember I had a, one of the first cars I had was like a 91 Cavalier, and, and I, I went to lunch, one of the first jobs I ever had, I went to lunch in this Cavalier, Oh shit, I don't remember. And I, uh, it broke down, and I almost lost the job, like, immediately, because my car fucking broke down during my lunch break. And I was, like, walking back, like, three fucking miles back to my car. Oh shit, I forgot about this part. So, car-wise, it's always been a fiasco. Oh, I see, the, 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 the platforms take you back. Okay. Oh shit. Damn, son. Damn, son. Alright, guys. Let's go to the next game. That is a cool game, though. 
That's one of those games I'd like to sit down and and really play. Let me see if this person had a trade. No, they don't. They sound like they're a robot. I said, do you have any trades? And they're like, no, I do not. I was like, <laughs> okay. That's an automated... I suck your dick! This person said they suck my dick from my G5. They give it. They said they'd be sloppy, uh -oh. toothless, gum style, Why? blow job. You never Why had a toothless you... gummer? Why is this <laughs> <fucking> Carrie? <laughs> Carrie ain't getting anywhere near my dick. I would hope not. Cause she's fucking nasty. Let me tell you. So if somebody offers me a gummer for my car, I can't. I can't say yes. Why? We can walk. Don't ask questions. We can walk to places, depending on how good this gummer is. The brother's at a club. Gum style. What Tyler is? No. Of course. What? Tyler never uses fucking Facebook. Somebody else, uh, what was the other game somebody suggested? I can't go back and look at my fucking, go back to the donations, babe, and see what the other game somebody suggested is. You're supposed to be on comment duty. Kira Knightley, yes, I like her. Kira Knightley's doable. She's pretty. She's doable. Kira Diaz, no. She's ugly. Mm. She looks like a whore. Roseanne Barr. Mm. <laughs> mm. So I'm talking Betty White. Mm. 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 Oh, Felix the Cat. Yeah, good, good choice. I had this game when I was a kid. Man, I used to fucking play this game all the time. I don't see any donations. I would break Betty White in half. I wiped the dust off that pussy. <laughs> Rising Xan on PS1. I, I I ain't got a lot of PS1 games on here, dude. This is I, I'm in my living room, and whatever's on my Raspberry Pi is is what I got. I can't really put games on it right now, and I don't have the uh, hard drive connected to it or anything. So yeah, Betty White would not survive a dicking for me. So she has to really take into account. So Betty Wright has to really think about it if she wants some dick for me, if it's worth dying over. Trust it's me, it is. I know what it is, babe. It's Felix the Cat. What? Felix the Cat. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. I never knew that this was a cartoon. Like, when I was a kid, I used to play this game. I didn't know anything about it. I just thought it was just a game. Okay. I didn't know this was I a cartoon. Was a cartoon. I had no idea. Game. No, I had no idea this was a cartoon. I didn't know anything about it. It was never on TV or anything. Like, if I didn't know any... If I didn't see it, you know, like on TV, I didn't know it existed. You know what I mean? Right. So I didn't know anything about Felix the Cat. I just figured it was... At best, maybe like a movie or something, but... Someone said McDonald's Treasure Land Adventure from McDonald's, oh my god. $2 McDonald's Treasure Land. Spunky's. Spunky's Dangerous Day, oh man. You know, I never really played that game. Like, I I've, I've, I think I played it like once. I, I think, isn't that like a big giant fucking uh, escort mission? Oh, Don't you gotta guide like Spunky around and shit? Yeah, I remember now. I hated it. Eh, no, not Serena Williams. Serena Williams would look like she'd break your dick off. If you're into that, I mean, go for it, but... This game's good and short. Like, you could beat this game really fast. Depending on how, how much I get into this, I might end up just beating it. <laughs> it's not very long. There's different things you can turn into. I recommend anybody that plays this game to, like, stick with the car... Like, this, this car that I'm in right now, like, stick with this, because it shoots forward. Like, when you get the tank, I mean, you can get the tank, but it has this weird arc on the firing that fucking sucks ass. Yeah, you like the the what about the Golden Girl days? Man, fucking Betty White looks like she's been fucking 95 years old since the Golden Girls days. Oh, yeah. she I mean, she played like a retiree in that show in the 80s. Okay, that bitch fucking god damn man. That bitch is gonna live that bitch's fucking pussy probably looks like the temple from Temple of Doom in it and shit, man. Yeah, Kendrick. 
That bitch's pussy will rip your heart out. Kalima! Kalima! Speaking of that, I've been showing fucking Ani the uh, Indiana Jones movies, and she actually likes them, man. She actually didn't get on her phone the entire time while I was showing her a movie. How about that shit? I showed her Raiders of the Lost Ark, then I showed her Temple, and then I showed her Last Crusade. We watched them all three in the last two days. She liked all of them. She wasn't thrilled about Temple of Doom, but that's pretty much everybody. <laughs> yeah, she likes Short Round. Not That's round. just his name. That's his nickname. I'm sure his real name's not Short Round. I like Temple of Doom, man. I don't give a fuck. Like, I, I like Temple of Doom more and more, like, every time I watch it. Like, no joke. I love the dinner table scene. I know everybody wants to bust a nut. Like, it's racist. It's racist. Really Indian cool. people don't eat monkey brains and, and snakes and you to do I'm like, who cares? It's a fucking movie. Who gives a fuck. It'd be boring if they just ate fucking goddamn rice with soy sauce on it or something. I'll fucking know. <laughs> with curry sauce, I'll fucking know what they eat. It'd be boring. Okay, you want to watch a boring movie? Oh, but it's it's the way that it is. Like nobody wants to see that. Okay, hey, you want to know what a realistic Temple of Doom would be? They'd be dead as fuck. Within 10 minutes when they fell off that raft out of the fucking plane. Okay, they're in a raft and then they hit the mountain and then they're like, they would turn, their bones would turn into dust. Okay, that's that's what realistic Temple of Doom would be. I mean, I hate when people say that shit. There's no realistic. Same thing with like fucking uh, Kingdom of the Crystal Dump. Like, that movie sucks balls, but it's not because of the damn nuclear bomb scene. Yeah, that part's silly, but there's a lot of silly shit. In those movies. I'm not gonna just fault that. Of course it's fucking dumb. The man's like fucking 60 years old, first of all. He probably couldn't even get his old ass into that fridge. Let alone survive the nuclear blast. Ain't nothing makes no sense in those movies if you fucking think about it. Okay, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Somehow they survive the Ark being opened 20 feet away from them just by closing their eyes? Like, uh, the, yeah. what? sense does that fucking make i mean how is he an expert on how to survive arc openings all of a sudden tim curry hasn't looked good for a while guys no nah, tim curry's in bad spot man he had a stroke and shit <laughs> spurger kang spurger kang i think we need to rewatch um rocky Horror. Uh, yeah, Rocky Horror Pictures does a once every year thing. It's just we haven't watched it again yet. That's what I'm saying. We'll watch it. It's more of a Halloween movie, babe. No, I'm just saying. Mm, the first time you show if if I if you watch Rocky Horror Picture Show too much, you turn gay. It's, a, it's a fact. No, but you're a woman. You're allowed. I can't watch Rocky Horror Picture Show more than once a year. Otherwise, I'll start liking dick. Uh oh. You know this. Okay, there's transvestites in that movie. So let's calm it down, okay? I say we go see it live sometime. I've seen it live. I would love to see it live. Uh, my suggestion to everybody that goes and sees it live, do not, under any circumstances, tell them that you are new and that this is your first time going. Okay, my friends fucked me on that bullshit. Next thing I know, I'm on the stage having a fucking relay race with a double-sided dildo between my fucking legs. You have to like, I was like, what, 23 or something? I had to have a, you had to do a relay and pass this double-sided dildo to other people on the stage without touching it with your hands, okay? Thank fucking Christ nobody got that on fucking tape. Let me tell you, my life would be ruined, okay? It was, it was a horrifying nightmare. Thank God nobody fucking... Uh, I'm sure there's a tape floating around out there with me with a double-sided dildo in my, between my legs. Okay, let me tell you. It's 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 hard to keep that between your legs <laughs> and not drop it. That takes skill, bitches. That shit's crazy. <laughs> so if you ever go and see Rocky Horror Picture Show live, do not tell them that you are new because they will get your ass on that stage and fuck with you. 
I didn't tell him. My friends thought it was hilarious, though. Oh, it was a dildo. What the fuck is right, guys? Let me tell you. Shit's crazy. Yeah, they give you a whole bag of stuff you can, like, throw at the screen and, like, a bag of rice and all kinds of shit, man. I got... I, dude, I, I tried to see anything live or anything anymore. I got fucked at a comic club one time, too, man. I went to... The only time I ever seen live comedy... Okay, let me tell you guys a story here. <laughs> let me tell you the story. So, like, I fucking go to this comedy club, and there's a comedian on there, and this comedian... This guy was funny. And fucking, you know, he's like doing his jokes and whatnot, and he has this drawing for a shirt or something, and they, they're doing this drawing, and I just put my name on it, not thinking anything about it. I didn't think I'd win. Sure enough, the first goddamn fucking name that motherfucker draws out is my name. Okay, and my motherfucking name is Rob Lowe. So, I'll, I'll go ahead and give you guys a guess as to what a comedian is going to do with that name. Uh, so there's about 50 minutes of jokes on that, and I had to go up on stage and get the fucking shirt. It was horrifying. I, I literally almost just left without the shirt. I don't even think I even have the shirt anymore. It was bullshit, man. People said they would have left if somebody made them do that. I didn't drive, guys. I didn't have much of a choice. And I'm game to fucking, you know, fool around, and I know what the movie's all about and everything, but it's just like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. There was one guy that knew every fucking line to scream out at the screen, and he was, like, ruining the whole movie. So, like, somebody would say something on the screen, and this guy would have, like, a comeback for everything. Oh, this guy must see it, like, every week. It was madness. It was madness! Oh, this fucking stupid tank, man. It was ridiculous. Ani's gonna have to do the double-sided dildo, though, when she goes. Well, fucking A you are. Then you're not going. You do realize what double-sided dildos anyways, babe. Mm -hmm. I came home the other day and you were doing that. <laughs> okay, either that or you're putting up your butt. One of the two. One of the two. Uh, George Carlin's my favorite comedian. In my opinion, George Carlin, old school Eddie Murphy. Kevin Hart. Not Kevin Hart. He's not at all funny. No. Get out. There's a Mexican comedian that I think is really funny. Get the fuck out of here. I don't know what it means. Leave. Shut up. Did you hear her say Kevin Hart, guys? Making me sick. She said Kevin Hart. Yeah, some people are like, I've never even seen Rocky War Picture Show. <laughs> Somebody said you're like a random victim constantly. Dude, don't even get me started. Don't even get me started. If, if, if any of you guys ever hang out with me in real life and we ever go and do something, 99.9% .9 chance it'll be a disaster. Something something will happen. Yeah, yeah, we will, you know, you will end up going to a fucking con and making a videotape and having the entire con against us, and, yeah. Ace will have his camera fucking confiscated and all this fucking his crazy shit. Be. No. <laughs> nope. I told you guys this tank fucking sucks. I mean, what's the point of a fucking weapon? It doesn't even hit. It goes over everything. He's had a lot of bad work days. I don't know if someone ever wanted. Someone wants to know what was your worst work day you ever had. Huh. Well, the the <laughs> day I quit Radio Shack was a was an ordeal. Okay, so here I'll tell you guys the the day I quit Radio Shack and what happened with that. Okay, so the boss at Radio Shack. Hated this one guy named, uh, it was like, named, I can't remember what his name was. He hated it, hated this guy. And hours, when you worked at Radio Shack, hours were basically dependent on, like, how many cell phones you would sell. And I got to the point, I only worked there for, like, three months because they lied to me about the management thing. Uh, they were going to train me to be a manager, and I never did. And that's just how they get you in the door. 
And I and that's and several people have told me that. And this guy that worked there was a douchebag. And but apparently he got like one extra cell phone than me that week or some bullshit. And the manager hated him and the manager talked shit about him all the time. And sure enough, this guy had more hours than me on the next coming week. So I was fucking pissed, you know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, this manager talks about this guy like fucking dog shit all the time. And it's bullshit. So I put it in a letter. I wrote him like, when you're supposed to talk to this guy because he's never there, you like write a letter and like you, you put everything in there and you would like tape it to the screen of the computer and like he would read it like the following day. Well, so I, I put it in the letter. I'm just like, why the fuck are you giving Calvin more, more fucking hours than me? You know, like, you don't even like this motherfucker. You know, he was always fucking up everything and blah, 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 blah. And I'm going into all this shit. And I come in the next day. And Calvin's there. The, the guy, I, that was what was the guy's name was. And uh, I'm like, and he's like there. And he's like all pissy and pissed off and shit. And everybody else kind of just like staring at me. And I go back there, and the manager's back there, and he calls me back there. And it turns out, Calvin opens the opened the mail and read all the shit what? that I wrote down in that letter and everything before the manager did. So he read, I, I, and I told the guy, I was like, it's not meant for him to fucking open it. And then the manager guy's like, yeah, but he opened it, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, you know what, dude? And I was the key holder at the time. So I took the key, I, I literally threw it at the manager, and I'm like, dude, you take this fucking key and give it to him, dude. I'm like, if you want to give him the hours, you want to, you know, have him fuck up the store, dude, I'm out. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm like, I'm history, I fucking bailed, and that was my last day at Radio Shack. No shit, guys. So, a lot of, that was one of those jobs that they just promise you things, and it never fucking happens, guys. I would tell you not to work there, but they're not around anymore. So I'm glad I got out of there. It is fucking dead. Well, the thing is, here's the funniest part. Okay, so the, the manager guy, he's a douchebag. He always talk about retiring all the time. Oh, I want to retire next year, retire next year. No, he never retired, dude. Like, I went into Radio Shack like five years later, and this motherfucker's still there. And I wanted to be like, yeah, bro, uh, whatever happened to the old uh, retiring thing? Then Radio Shack goes under, and I, I see this motherfucker at the Pickle fucking Walmart. I was like, well, it must not have happened with the fucking retirement. I was like, Radio Shack must not uh, have much of a retirement package. Big fucking surprise. So, fuck that motherfucker, dude. I just don't understand how you say you're going to retire, and then you literally work for like five more years without retiring. Like, what? Like, your, your forecast was, like, not even close at that point. Like, I pretty much feel bad, but at the same time, Jesus Christ, you weren't even close. By the time I get old enough to retire, it won't even remotely be possible, probably. And my, I, my uh, dream of being a Walmart greeter is obviously shot. They don't even have those anymore. You can send me, like, a Facebook message, man. I'll, I'll give you an address you can send stuff to. Oh, shit. Alright, guys. Let's play a different game. This game's cool. It's a cool game. I worked at Radio Shack a long time ago, guys. It's been a long time. Um, it was when... It was when Obama was elected to his second term, I think. No, it was maybe his first term. It might have been his first term. Yeah, I bet that was it. I bet it was his first term, because I remember watching... That's all you did at Radio Shack was watch TV. I remember watching TV and watching the election on the screen. But I, I also remember... I remember watching OJ going to jail for the second time. When he, when he went to jail for robbing that memorabilia. So I know I was there for that, so maybe I'm wrong. So whatever that was, that's when I worked there. I remember watching that. I, I had an interview at Radio Shack. He pulled that manager training shit. Yeah, dude, I told you. 
That's how they got people in the door. Because nobody wanted to work there for those wages, dude. It was it was super low. Like, it was just, it paid nothing. And, like, it, they give you commission, but it was just dog shit, dude. Like, it was just dumb. It was totally dumb. What was the next game, somebody? Was it 2009? Whenever OJ went to jail, for, the, for whenever he went to jail for stealing that memorabilia, because I remember watching that on TV. So that's when I worked. So yeah, it was either 2008 or 2009 I worked there. It sucked balls, guys. That's why I never talked about it when I was making YouTube videos because it was garbage. So what was the next game somebody picked? Have you seen Airsoft Fatties videos? No, I haven't seen that. Anything with fatties in it. You know I'm down like a clown. Rocco's Modern Life, I think, was... No, McDonald's Treasure Land. Yeah. No, Gizmo gave me a donation, too, though. Yeah, but that was after McDonald's. No, that was before it. Um, Rising Zen. I don't have PS1 stuff on here, dude. You'll have to pick something else. Well, I do, but I don't have very much. Staples was horseshit, man. I could go on all day with fucking Staples. Here's, I'll show you guys all I have for PS1, which isn't very much. Uh, Lundra, Symphony of the Night, Clock Tower, Iron Hander, Herx Adventures, Mega Man Legends, Metal Gear Solid, uh, R-Type Delta, Resident Evil Director's Cut, and Saga Frontier. Play McDonald's. Clock Tower. Clock Tower, guys, man, I'm telling you guys, it takes a long time for that fucking game to pick up. It just does. It takes fucking forever. Yeah, no Cho and Iki? Uh, that's because I don't suck dick, bruh. If I was a dick fiend, maybe I'd have Cho and Iki on there. You can only play that game for five minutes. Five minutes at a time, you start sucking dick. That's a fact right there. Captain Novelin. Every time I think of Captain Novelin, I think of Boo Kitty. Because she reviewed that fucking game back in the day. Is Gizmo even still here? Mm -hmm. He may have left. Hold on, let me go back. Gizmo, if you come back in... Give me an idea for one, bro, because... Red and Stimpy's Invention. Is that on Super Nintendo? Red and Stimpy's Invention. Okay, let me find that. That might be on NES, but I think it's on SNES. What do we got to eat, babe? Um, well... Uh, I think that might be on NES then. Oh, it's on Genesis. All right, let me go back. I don't know why it says Mega Drive. I guess because I guess the Raspberry Pi is from the UK, or they make them in the UK, so they go with the Mega Drive name instead of the Genesis. I think you can still change it if you have like a different skin or something. So here we go. You got Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts for dinner. What are you, Kenny from South Park? <laughs> Pop-Tarts for dinner, kitty. God damn, you're poor kitty. Oh, this game's janky. Nope. We're in a snap being a work, guys. Sorry. It might be because it's an E. Europe, Europe ROM or something. That ain't gonna work. All right, so Gizmo did Castlevania Dracula X. Let's do that. Whoever picked Ren and Stimpy, pick something else. Well, sometimes these E-ROMs, if they aren't you, they don't work right. Yeah, the game doesn't work. It might be a bad ROM dump, too. Let's do it up. I hate this Castlevania game. This is probably my least favorite Castlevania game. I, I hate this game more 
then even Castlevania 3. I hate this game, something fierce. Give me a couple of them Thin Mints. Since they're like 50 cents a cookie. I have to figure out if I'm going to fix my car or buy Girl Scout cookies. Can't afford both. Give me a fucking cookie? Acting like you're a drug addict with these things. I'll buy you another fucking box of them. Jesus, fuck. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna buy some Thin Mints from Kroger's and just put them in the box. You're not gonna know the difference. Too bad I can't go into Kroger's. I'm gonna do it. And I'm gonna give you one, and you're gonna eat it, and I'm gonna laugh my ass off when you can't tell the difference. I'm gonna do it, bitches. How's that gonna work when I already know, like, the difference between them? I guarantee you won't know. These taste exactly like... You can get these at Kroger's. No, you yes, you can. They taste exactly the same. I've gotten them before. Put that cookie down. Hello, sweetheart. Can I talk to your mom? Do it now. Do it now. Can mm. I help you with something, sir? Do you need to depart me? Those are just not that good. They are amazing. Are you about to say your vagina itches? What are you going to say? No. You got a vagina rash? No. You were going to say your vagina something. <laughs> Well, go ahead and say it into the mic, babe. No. no, everybody wants to know what your vagina is up to right now. Stop. Go right ahead. It's the Vagina Minute with Ani. No. So, Ani, how's your vagina doing right now? No. Go ahead and say it. Stop. People are on the edge of their seat. Stop. That's a good vagina right there. No. You need to itch it for you? No. You need a D in there? No. What's wrong with it? You need them to look at it? Dave, if there's is there a weird spot? Is it bumpy? What's going on? She was gonna say something and she stopped herself. She's like she's like, me and my but I was like, what babe? What was that? They're waiting. We're not gonna start the game until you tell us up with your vagina. Oh, no, I gotta pee. Then go pee. pee. What's that have to do with the chat? I'm trying to play games here. No. Back, and I meant to say my back aches, but it didn't go. You know, back and vagina are completely different things. <laughs> Stop. Not even a lot of words begin with V. <laughs> Stop. Jesus, get out of here. Why aren't you in the kitchen anyways? What's going on here? Die. <laughs> Ridiculous. This game, man, this Dark fucking Dark. goddamn dime store Rondo of Blood. <laughs> Who Gizmo? Why are we playing generic brand Rondo here, bruh? Bruh. I think I got Rondo on the uh, Turbo. I got Rondo on PS4. We can play that shit. I don't even like Rondo that much, to be honest with you. I'm not what you call like a super hardcore Castlevania fan. I can tell you guys. I can tell you guys right now the Castlevania games I like. Okay, I'll, I'll just run it down the list. Okay, I like Castlevania One. I like Castlevania 4. I like Bloodlines. I like Symphony of the Night. And when I was a kid, I liked Castlevania 64 because I was retarded and ate paint. But I still don't think that that game is terrible. And I like the first Lords of Shadow. And that's it. Okay, perhaps I've forgotten one. Oh, okay, I like the DS ones. I like... I, okay, I like the Metroidvanias on the DS in the, uh, on the, uh, Game Boy Advance. That's literally, like, as far as it goes. And I don't even love those that much. Like, they're good. Portrait of Ruin is kind of, meh. I like Portrait of Ruin more because of the soundtrack than anything. I like the GBA games, but I, I don't... I think... Circle of the Moon is more irritating than anything a lot of the... I like the music in it. I don't like Harmony of Dissonance. Um, the the one after that, Araya of Sorrow I like. Um, and the one on the DS I like. Portrait of Ruin is kind of half and half. Yuzo Kashira did the soundtrack in it with uh, that Yamane or whatever. I really like the soundtrack in that one. 
I don't like the last DS game though. I don't like Order. I don't like Order of Ecclesia. I've tried, dude. I beat it twice, and I don't like it. I don't like the systems in it. I don't like the level design. Uh, and I, there's not even a lot of music in it that I like. I only like a couple tracks in it. I don't like Order of Ecclesia. I just really don't care for how it plays. Uh, ooh, that was a good burp right there. Oh, shit. Oh, I forgot. I forgot how to even beat this boss. There's a way you can get him in, like, a loop. Oh, shit. Oh, no. He's gonna get me. I like I like the first Lords of Shadow quite a bit. Oh, come on. Fuck this bullshit. Goddamn motherfucking piece of shit. Bloodlines? Yeah, Bloodlines is pricey, but who's buying the actual cartridge? Ain't nobody gonna buy that shit. You know how much Bloodlines cost, bro? Nothing! Okay. Go to Google, type in Bloodlines for free right now, give it to me in my mouth, and then you'll get it in like half a second. Ain't nobody paying for Bloodlines, dude. It's like paying for sex. Who's doing that? Fuck that noise. Okay, bitches, pay me. Ani pays $50 a dick and... Cool. She's got a lot of IOUs, too. Shut up. <laughs> oh, shit. Man, these bosses have a lot of fucking health. Eat a dick with this. Jesus fucking Christ. About time. I got fucking shit to do this week. Drinking a big frosty glass of wine here. Ah, that was delicious right there. Let me go to my... I'm gonna go to my PayPal real quick, guys. A few people said they sent some stuff to my PayPal. Let me check it out. I haven't got a chance to check it yet. I appreciate all the donations, guys. I mean, you guys are definitely helping me out with that. With this disaster. Called my life. Awesome. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Oh, man. Very nice. Cool. $50. I got $25 in there. Really appreciate it, guys. <laughs> Helps me out a lot. I like it a lot. I like, I like it, it a lot. lot. I like it a lot. Let me get back into my stream heel. Yeah, I've been wanting to stream, guys, but I haven't. Yeah, dude, I, Ani will tell you, man, I've been going to bed at like midnight. You know, I've been going to bed really early. I mean, I haven't wanted to do anything. I have been so fucking bummed, dude. I didn't even want to talk about it. Like, I was I was going to make the stream and, like, not even talk about it. I even told Ani that beforehand. I was like, I don't even know if I'm even going to talk about it. Because it just fucking makes me so sad, dude. Like, out of all the things that could happen to this goddamn fucking car, dude, it's got to be the engine. Like, it could have... The, the, the transmission is cheap as fuck in this car. Like, you can get a transmission in this car for nothing. You know, get it rebuilt for under a grand, no big deal. Like, literally the worst thing that could fucking happen happens in this fucking car, dude. I mean, that's just, that's my life. I usually don't go to bed too late, but I've just, I've just been staying in bed and not giving a fuck, man. I, I'm just so over it. Can't you, like, I thought you could, like, hold the whip and, like, have it spin around or something. Nope. Could have sworn he had, had like a helicopter blade whip in this or something. You know, like like I said, when I got this car, I, you know, I know Fieros have this reputation, but I know a couple people that have these cars, and they've had them for years, and they've been fine. And they've been in way worse condition when they first got them than this one that I bought was. 
And I, I never would have guessed that within a month this car would be fucked up, man. Like, not even close. But hopefully the dealer helps out at least a little bit, man. Like, they're definitely being shady right now. In the beginning, they were acting like they were going to be all helpful and stuff, but they haven't gotten back to me in, like, three fucking days. And I, I told them, like, guys, like, look, if you guys can just... I told the dealer, I'm like, if you guys can just, like, do, like, twelve to 1500 bucks or something on this, and, like, you know, that would be reasonable. You know, and then they're like, oh, yeah, buh, 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 we'll help and do do I haven't heard from them at all. They're dodging my calls now. I've left, like, three messages. They're not answering. They're hoping I go away is what it is. That's all it is. They're hoping I go away. They know I live two hours away. And they're hoping that I just I just say fuck it. You know what I mean? Yeah, dealers only helpful until they get your money. Dude, they, they, they I, I, I financed the car, so they already got their money. I financed the car through, like, a, uh, a financial thing. So they've already got their money, so they don't give a fuck, really. I mean, you know, the whole thing is, don't call me and fucking tell me you're going to help me and then not help me. Okay, I told them what needs to be done with this car, and they're like, oh, well, we can't even help even remotely close to that. They're like, we are we were hoping we could put an engine in it for, like, $1,000 or something. I'm like, dude, $1,000 is not even going to cover the labor for putting in an engine. Let alone the engine itself. I'm like, you guys act like you don't know a fucking thing about cars and you have a fucking dealership. It's just a joke. This mechanic I got it to right now is the cheapest one I could fucking find, man. That and he's and, and this, you know, and this is like 10% off. Like it's unbelievable. If I told you guys how much this is going to cost, you guys would shit your pants. You guys would absolutely shit your pants on how much this is probably going to cost me to get fixed. I don't even want to talk about it. I don't even want to talk about it. Disaster. Disaster. Oh, I missed the meat! The wall meat disappeared. It disappeared. <laughs> it ain't $20,000, but might as well be. Oh, shit. Oh, come on, man. I forgot the wall. The wall chicken faded before I could get to it. I hate this game. God, I hate this game. This is the only level, like, after this level, the game just gets fucking silly, too. Like, right after this level, it gets way too hard, and then just gets dumb. I think there's, like, an alternate path you can take to make it a little bit easier. Somehow. Uh, Pixel... Pixel P, uh, you're just about on money there, buddy. Pixel P seems to know what he's talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Pixel P exactly. knows exactly what's up. Yeah. Welcome to my world, Pixel P. That could be very well what it's going to be, bro. Depending on what the crankshaft's going to be when he opens the engine. So, needless to say, I'm going to be selling some stuff, and you guys' donations are helping for sure. But that pretty much sums it up, bro. Doomality. Can you play Balls 3D on Genesis? Oh my god. Balls 3D, that's great. Um, let me make sure. I think somebody else donated too. I don't want to skip anybody's donations if you guys have given me. Go back up to the donations, babe. Make sure I haven't missed any games. I can't stand this Castlevania guy. Dude, I, I can't. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's like, Jesus Christ, you could buy another car. I know, bro. But I don't got a choice. You know what I'm saying? Like, I haven't paid the car off yet, so I could, you know, I, nobody's going to buy this car for me to get out of this car. I can't get out of the deal. The deal's already done. It's an as-is car. So I, I don't have a choice. I have to get it fixed. You know, and the, the car went from a, a not bad deal to just insanity. So. They gotta play the McDonald's treasure. Oh, McDonald's, Texas. McDonald's. 
on Genesis. Okay. And then after that, it's the Balls 3D. Bows. 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 All right, let's see here. Yeah, car's fucked up, brother. Um, is it under? Oh, here it is. Did you say this is a treasure game? No shit. That's what it says. Oh, I'm sure they probably sold me a lemon, dude. I, I, I'm not. Yeah, it's happened before in the past. Nothing new. Oh, it is treasure. What the fuck is treasure doing making a McDonald's game, dude? What the fuck are you guys doing? They were smoking crack in 93. Oh, Rocker's Modern Life. Yeah, I gotta do that one, too. Yeah. That was after this one. But, I guess the good thing is, once the car is fixed, it should run like new. Fucking better. And, it, he said it'll, it'll ride like a dream after this. So, and it might not be that expensive. Like I said, it depends on that crankshaft. Ronald McDonald's like looking pretty rapey why? in this game. Why are, why are his thighs so big? He's got he's got children up in his pants. That's he's why got, like, his thighs are that big. MC Hammer Eating on. too many, yeah, dude. You can't touch this. I've never played this. Probably because it's a McDonald's game. Oh, look at this. This ain't bad. Ten dollars from Credit I'm a little short on funds, but I hope this helps. Oh, I appreciate it, dude, for sure, man. It helps. Everything helps. And I'm not one on. I'm not one to even come on here and even ask for money. And like I said, you guys don't have to, but it's definitely appreciated, man. Because I, I really don't want to have to get rid of my PS1 games, because that's gonna be heartbreaking. I've been literally collecting those games for since 1997 or 6. So to get rid of those games is going to be a heartbreaking ordeal. Oh shit man, there's like a Bionic Commando arm grab thing here. That's fucking dope. I want Ron McDonald and the King from Burger King to team up. Create a fight club or something. That'd be dopeness. What the fuck was it? Was that a dick? Just fucking landed into the ground. Yeah, this is way better than it has any right to be. Although the the jump button's on the A button, which I'm never a big fan of. I used to have a lot of games like that when I was a kid that were like good, but I always had to change the controls on them before I played them. Super Metroid's always one of those games. Like, whenever I play Super Metroid, I always gotta change the controls beforehand, because they got, like, jump as, like, the X button, or, like, the L and R button, or some fucking crazy madness. Who the fuck has time for that? Nonsense, I, I tell you, nonsense. Collect the red jewels, what do those do? Oh, they're health. Yeah, they're health. Damn, son. Damn, son! Yeah, this is Genesis is why the controls are like that. I keep forgetting. Well, you only got two continues? Are you fucking serious? That's fucked up. Wow, they start you way back here? They don't fuck around, man. Hey, Rob, use this to buy a shamrock shake. <laughs> Hey Rob, use this to buy some crack! That'll make you feel better, brother. Aladdin for the Genesis, that's a good choice for sure. That's a good game. Woo, Nelly! What the hell is down there? I seen that. The fuck is this? I have few gold ones. I have few gold ones. <laughs> What's this, a sperm? 
I have a few gold ones. That's a sperm, dude. He wants... Ronald wants some jizz on his face. He's gotta get some gold ones first, though. He has few of them. Oh, man. I don't know about this game. This game's hot. Let me start over. I'm already gonna lose all my fucking fives. I have few gold ones. I want to play Home Alone on the Genesis. I haven't played that in a long time. I might play that for a little bit. Just as one I pick myself. I, for I forgot this was on the Genesis. I mean, it looks, it looks like a Super Nintendo game, really. I mean, this looks really good. Graphically. Kind of looks like Sonic, I guess, a little bit. I guess you know it's a Genesis game by the backgrounds. The way the backgrounds look. A lot of Genesis games have that water. You see how that waterfall is back there? A lot of Genesis games have that effect. Catapult. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks Celtic Light. I need it. Yeah, everybody on my Facebook thought I was like dying or something. Because I posted, I was just like so pissed, I didn't want to talk about it. And I was like, man, I am just a fucking moron, dude. I always get myself into really stupid fucking situations. Yeah, it looks like Freedom Planet. Okay, that's what it was. I was trying to figure out what the fuck this reminded me of. You can't shoot up, though. Unless the... Oh, fuck this noise. Oh, I was depressed, dude, for sure. <laughs> if Monroe Brake and Muffler fucking worked on it, they wouldn't even get it off the lift. they put it on the lift, be like, Sorry, man, this, it, it, burst on, it burst on fire on the lift. I, I couldn't stop, couldn't put the fire out, dude. <laughs> I'm like literally watching them like pour gasoline on it and put a match on it. I'm like, dude, you're, you're lighting it on fire right, right, right in front of me. No, nah, dude, it's doing it itself. It's a dangerous car, man. I can't let you drive it. All right, dude. <laughs> I'm done with the McDonald's. Game's stupid. Moonwalker. Let me play Home Alone real quick, man. I haven't played this game since I was a little kid. It's been a long time since I played this. This is actually a pretty decent Home Alone game. Oh. Ba -dum -bum -ba -dum -bum. This game's sweet. This game's hard. I got my checks mix here, I'm eating. The bold party blend. Who the hell's uh, who the hell's coming up party? You're invited, I'm like, dude. I'm gonna have Chex Mix party blend, dude. I'm there, brother. I'm there, brother. Right. Better not have that regular Chex Mix. I'm with Balin. <laughs> Why they always gotta call shit like party mix and party time, and party party. Like party size bag of chips. Unless there's gonna be a stripper in this fucking Chex Mix bag, it ain't a party. <laughs> it ain't a party. And I doubt it's gonna be that. Yeah, EVGN distributed these games, and this is like one of the only ones he even liked. Alright. So, let me change these controls here. Jump. Jump, fire, tire. Tire button. There's only beginner and expert. I hate when they do that, dude. I hate when games do that. There's like, retard mode? Or hell hellish hellfire sadistic mode? And it's like, uh... Um, I guess retard mode. Stupid. Alright. So, this game, you gotta, like, go around, you gotta collect stuff to, like, make weapons with real quickly. You get them out of these snowmen. You can get them in the houses, too. You make booby traps and stuff in the houses. And then you kind of wait for the, uh... 
the uh, wet bandits to come in, and then you can like attack them, and you deplete all their health, and then they they'll go away to the next house, and you kind of do it. You're basically trying to hold them off from robbing everything till the cops arrive. It's a it's an interesting game. I mean, if you're gonna do a Home Alone game on the Genesis, this is pretty much how you do it. And somehow your your sled has like a fucking V8 engine connected to it or something. This motherfucker revs like, like Jesus Christ. All right, so let's get this snowman here. I got a pile of shit in that snowman. Enter the house. All right, so you can make like little booby traps here. So you can put a torch. Right here. I think you can only put the torches. Yeah, you can put those in like doorways. You can put ice right here. Put the toys on the ground. Yeah, you're setting booby traps throughout the house. Put marbles. Heal. Oh, uh, what is this game fucked up to? What the fuck? fuck these this game's tripping balls. Listen to this. This is the second fucking Genesis game that hasn't worked. I wonder how many of these fucking games don't goddamn work on this fucking thing. I'm starting to get fucking pissed the fuck off about this Raspberry Pi. I'll be honest with you. That's the second fucking goddamn thing that hasn't worked. That's bullshit. Let me see if that was just a random occurrence. That's not even the Euro one, yeah. It's not, though, is it? No, it's it's you. What the fuck? Yeah, that's an NTSC ROM. Let me try to go back into it and see if that maybe I was just a... Uh, it just goofed. I need, I need. What do we have for sandwiches? Uh, the head yeah, make me a, make me a south sandwich. Okay. You want monster cheese or cheese? Give me monster cheese and give me that ground mustard. Make sure it's not expired. Okay. I'm not down with food poisoning. Everything we get out of the fridge, I'm always telling Ani, make sure it's not expired. Didn't I have to tell you that about something we just had the other day? Because we, we eat a lot of takeout, and <laughs> our food doesn't really get eaten a lot of times in the or fridge. we forget about it. And we forget about it in the fridge, and... Yeah, like, there's still, um... Like, oh, babe, there's... Remember that chicken from three years ago? Found it! <laughs> was it always... Was it always purple? <laughs> I'm fixing um, to eat this. Mm. I mean, I can always... Is there sauerkraut in January from on the in the fridge? Yes. You better get your hazmat suit on and get rid of that shit. <laughs> I don't know. If Ew. I'll have that in container because I know it's gonna make me gag. It's your mom's container. Oh. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, baby. 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 Yeah, put it put it between two pieces of a plastic bag. Well, what else am I gonna eat it on? Hey. What the fuck? I have beans too. That's why I asked you. You have beans? Look. What are those bagels? <laughs> They're onion sandwich rolls. You better put it on bread before I kill you. I don't want. What, what are those? Sandwich buns. Onion buns. <laughs> Get out of my face. <gasps> Thanks, Ryan. Appreciate that. Do $10 donation from Ryan Dave. Uh. Couldn't decide on a first name, so we used two of them, bitches. S2 is a special edition, Ryan Dave. <laughs> Alright, so that was... Uh... Oh, yeah, Rock was Modern Life. That's right. Let me go back.
I remember, I, I do remember this game, and I remember not liking it. I'm starting to get pissed. I want to go through these ROMs now and see how many don't even fucking work. Pretty bad. You got two in a row here. Spunky's Dangerous Day, is that the one? Home Alone pisses me off. Because I like that game, and that should work. Yeah, I don't know. I'm sure there's other emulators and stuff, dude, but, like, I had... I bought this thing set up for a reason, because I didn't want to dick with it. I, I, I tried to do my own Raspberry Pi once, and it, it just didn't really work right. It would randomly crash, like, depending on what game. Like, you would load a game, and then you'd load another one. And if you loaded a whole bunch of games, it would just, like randomly boot to a black screen sometimes. Monster! One. And bring me a bev. Give me the last coke. Is, is there still a Mountain Dew in the fridge and the door? Heifer looks like he's having a stroke right there, dude. Look at Heifer. I fucked up. I fucked up. <laughs> Heifer's eyes were bugging out. Yeah, this game is retarded. Hey, you know how everybody like this just really hates escort missions in games? Well, let's make the entire game an escort mission. And let's make Rocco fly across the room when you barely touch the D-pad, because that's always fun times, too. Love it. I don't remember what to do. We don't. I don't think we have any spicy left. How do you get him to turn around? Fucking retarded dog. Punch him in the face. You got. Do you really gotta wait for him to turn all the way back around? Evil Earth Productions. You're the Don Ripples of YouTube, been being your videos, funniest YouTuber for sure. Oh, thanks, dude. Don Rickles of YouTubers, man, that is, I think that might be the best comment I've ever gotten. Don Rickles is my boy. Oh, come, what the fuck, this fucking piece of shit, dude? If I had a dog like this, motherfucker would not make it out of this what fucking water right here, guaranteed. What the, turn around, why, why? <laughs> God, he's gotta slowly walk back. Why? You, can I just? What is this now? Hold on. Oh, 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 God. Now it's crabs. Shut up, babe. There we go. Thanks, Gizmo. Oh shit. Oh no. I don't know. I'm trying to get the dog across the screen for some reason. Uh, can't just pick him up, okay? I just I blew the whole concept of this game out of the water, guys. Uh, picking the fucking dog up. He's like an inch long. What's it say? Gizmo said, get yourself a Streamlabs account so you can get 100% of the money. As well, get some comments along with gift. Make a lot of custom shit. Yeah, I've heard about Streamlabs. It's, this game's giving me fucking super aids. He has to lead the dog. It's like the whole concept of the game doesn't make any sense. Pick the dog up. Carry that mofo. What the fuck is this? I just don't understand why they would make a game that's nothing but escort mission. Oh, I remember that's Mr. Isn't that Mr. Big Head's dog? I don't remember. Fuck, oh. Oh my god, it crashed! Man, the game crashed, man. Man, I am fucking pissed. Holy crap. Man, I was, that was the best game yet, and it crashed. Unbelievable. I'm so upset about that. It crashed.
Yeah. I guess I have to play something else now. Game is horrible. <laughs> I can't tell if Gray Exposure is being sarcastic or not. <laughs> Damn, that crashes. You ever picked Rocco? You can pick something else, dude, but I can't play that. It's absolute turd bucket. Turd bucket. Thank you, Bubba. Thank you, Bubba. You keep wanting me to play Mr. Nuts just because it has nuts in the title. What well, is Mr. Nuts? Is it the a guy who's nuts down? Oh. That's not fun. I'll try Rocco one more time. Is but that, that is all I'm going to give it. It's bad. bad. You know what the graphics on this game reminded me of? Baby's kids. And that is not a compliment. Babe, I will donate a dollar if you play Mary Kate and Ashley. You got the dollar on you? Yeah, it's in my wallet. I only wants to donate a dollar. We have to play it. So I play Mary Kate and Ashley, a stupid game she had on Game Boy when she was a kid. <laughs> dude, I wanted this game. I remember running this game too. I love Rocco, dude. It's my favorite cartoon of all time. But this is just not a good game. It literally is one giant escort mission. So I think... I think I can spring him up. Yeah. I can get him on this top half. Not have to worry about it so much. I'm probably making it way more difficult than it needs to be, but... It's trash, so I have no patience for it. Rocco's sprite looks fucking weird. Like, everything else looks pretty good, but Rocco just looks like he just fucking smokes some meth. Rocco's, like, crying out for help right now or something. So what, when he eats the bone, he just has, like, a fucking complete meltdown? Fuck, dude. I can't really put into words how bad this controls, too. Like, this is just horrendous. Like, literally, when you tap the D-pad, he just darts all the way. Like, look at this. I'm barely pushing the D-pad, guys. He just darts across the room like there's just no finesse at all. What the fuck are you supposed to do here? Is that it? I beat it? Pickle? Well, how do you think of a pickle? What is this? Bram Stoker's Dracula. Oh, thanks, Dark Star. My brother had that game when we were kids. I can't. No. No. I hate the whole concept. I hate the whole fucking concept of that game. It was not... It, that is like one level. That is like somebody played Earthworm Jim with that for Pete's sake level and then decided to make an entire game out of it but make it just fucking garbage. That's Rocker's Modern Life Spunky's Dangerous Day. Like, that is horrendous. If I got that game when I was a kid, dude, it would have ruined my whole fucking life, dude. I would not be here talking to you guys right now. Because I would not still be playing video games. You know, I, I look back on that kind of stuff when I was a kid. And I'm lucky that I got good games. I feel like if I would have got games like, you know, fucking Spunky's Dangerous Day and just other fucking garbage like Bubsy 3D and shit. I probably would not be playing video games right now, guys. I feel like the games you get when you're a kid really kind of decide whether or not you're going to continue to be a gamer and what kind of gamer you are. Like, luckily, I, I was I really had some really good games when I was a kid. I had some stinkers. Don't don't get me wrong. 
But that fucking game, holy shit. Oh, Greg Sposer, Rex Ronan, Bram Stoker's Dracula. We got a five dollar donation. Yeah, I seen it. Mm -hmm. I'm just making sure I didn't miss any games. Oh, Castle of Illusion, that's a good one. I'm making sure I didn't miss any more. Oh, Soul Blazer. Soul Blazer's good. Oh, Balls 3D. Man, I'm way behind. I think I played Balls 3D before, but I can... You guys are all about them balls and them nuts, aren't you? You guys are all about them balls and them nuts. Alright. Balls 3D it is. This game is a turd sandwich. This game is balls. Ha <laughs> ha! You sure I did there, babe? This game is balls. Mm. The game's called Balls 3D, and I said this game's balls. Get his balls because it's bad, yeah. but it's also called Balls 3D. Okay. You see what I did there? Yeah. Why aren't you laughing? <laughs> there you go. That's better. That's better. Oh, you boy. fuck. Hmm. <laughs> Demon's Crest. Good choice. Dude, can I be an astronaut so I can wash my hair like that? Wouldn't that be cool? Damn. That's how they wash their hair. Balls 3D in-store demo. Oh, okay. We got to do the in-store demo. That's fucking hilarious. We're about to play. Babe, when this game was like in the demo in the stores, this is the demo that they had. Oh, you got another $5 donation. Oh, thanks, Justin. More, but college life is tough. In the streets, can you play? Um... I'm gonna be doing a PS1 stream probably tomorrow, where I where I plug in my PS3 into my capture card, and then I can play I can play these PS1 games for you guys. I I have irritating sticks, so I can play that. So I'll play that tomorrow for you, bro. I appreciate the donation for sure. I can play that tomorrow. Just remind me tomorrow, and I'll play it. This is an in-store demo. This is cool. One player, free play. I wonder if it even lets me... How different is this from the original game? I wonder. Computer dunk. This game never looked good. Like, this This was never, like... Like, when this came out, like, I, guys, I, I was... I was alive when this game came out. I remember renting it. There was never a time when anybody was ever like, Oh, this looks amazing. Look how those balls are just, like, gonna come out the screen and just hit me in the face. Nobody nobody back then was ever like, Man, I wish there was a game where there, people were made out of balls and they would clumsily kind of sort of fight each other. Okay, this, this looks like fucking old people having sex. Okay, this is garbage. Huh. It looks like a bunch of turds. No, I mean, literally. That, that dump that I flushed at that girl's house that one day, that big turd, looked better than this. At least after I flushed out, I got a blowjob. I'm not getting shit out of this. I can't, I can't even tell which what fucking pile of balls I am. I keep getting mixed up here. Pow! What does it say? Taunt the ostrich? What does it say in the background? I guess I won. Loser land, you'd be the boss. Did I win? Are the drugs kicking in? Is that what's going on right now? What the fuck, dude? I'd rather do a relay with a double-sided dildo in front of a, on a stage in front of people than rather do than, than do this. I would never do something like that. This is the most clumsy fucking bullshit I've ever seen, dude. This is like two old people that don't even have, have limbs trying to have sex. No! No! Jerk! Shut up, babe. You made this game, didn't you? 
I got a ball streaky game for you. I'll show you later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Game is the Antichrist. Fuck that shit. Jesus Christ, man. I got an OCD. O -O OCD. Or what is it? What did, what did Punk have? No skull? A disease? PTSD? <laughs> Punk has. PTWXYZ? A lazy disease? That's what he had. PTSD? That's what I got now. Um. Let's see here. Rex Ronan. I think Bram Stoker was the lot next one. That's that's an awesome compliment. The Don Rickles of YouTube, babe. You're looking at the Don Rickles of YouTube. What? Don Rickles. She don't know who Don Rickles is. Yeah, no. All right, Castle of Illusion. I think is the next one. No, Soul Blazer is the next one. Yep, Soul Blazer is the next one. Soul Blazer. That's Soul Blazer right there. Yeah, don't don't ever be another Don Rickles, guys. Don Rickles will fucking come up and make fun of you so hard you'll fucking start crying. And then he'll buy you a fucking drink afterwards and you'll be best friends with him. That was Don Rickles. Don Rickles would come on to your fucking talk show and take over that bitch. Let me give you $2 donation for their birthday. They're 29 years old today. You like it more than Illusion of Gaia? I don't, I don't think this game's that great. I think this game's really repetitive, and... I do like the music in it somewhat, though, that... It's like some fucking weird 70s porno music or something. It's fucking weird. And like, and it, it it's funny, like all these, all these games from this fucking developer, this quintet, they all use the same damn fucking font, the same, same damn like life bar for everything. It's fucking weird, it's like they only had access to like, one font that they ever use. Is Dix McGee gonna fit on here? Dix McGee. Yes, it is. Dix McGee! Hey, yip, 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 yip. Sky Blazer. That's a good one. Birthday 29 years old, Debonair Nerd. Happy birthday, brother. Oh, Sky Blazer. Yeah, Sky Blazer is, is pretty underrated. This game's kind of just fucking boring sauce. I'll play a little bit of it, though. I'll show you. Uh, Dix McGee received Sword of Life. It's not a bad game. I, I really, at one point, because I really like Quintet. So, at, at one point, I really tried to beat this game one time. I, I just couldn't do it. Like, it was just really boring. Like, the whole game revolves around this. You stand next to a, a monster portal, and you just kill all the enemies over and over again. They all come out in a line, and you beat them, and then you move on, to the, and then you, you unlock something back in the town. Like, a house will appear after you unseal that monster lair. So it takes like the monster layer from the monster layers from Act Racer, and it has like the sort of the sword play a little bit from Illusion of Gaia. This is before Illusion of Gaia, though. It's just a weird game. You're gonna be 39 on the 20th, bro. I'm, I got a little while yet till I get to there. I'm 32 right now, so according to fucking uh, Alexandria Cortez, we're not gonna live past fucking. 12, 12 more years is all we got, people. The end of the world, that climate change is gonna melt us. We're gonna all just melt in the puddles. It's gonna look like like when, when that guy picked that wrong fucking grail in Last Crusade. When he just fucking turns into a skeleton and explodes. That's what we're all gonna do here. 12 years on the dot, dude. Alexander Cortez says so. 
This is Legend of Zelda's fucking retarded cousin, dude. <laughs> the story of Melda. <laughs> the tale. The tale of Melda. The tale of Melba. <laughs> A generic brain, man. You can't afford that Legend of Zelda. That's expensive, bro. This is the type of shit you tell your grandma you want a Legend of Zelda, and she'd bring you home this. She got it. She was on sale at CVS or something. <laughs> I got it at CVS. It was on sale. It looked just like Zelda. It looks even better. It looks even better. Fable, the fable of Diane. <laughs> oh shit, Becky. What the fuck? Oh shit, the legend of Becky. Oh That's not a name you see too often in these in these old old style RPGs and shit. You gotta go rescue Becky. <laughs> That's like a name. Becky. I hate that name. Beck. Beck, Beck, Beck. That's a 90s name. That's a total 90s name. Oh shit. Ah. This game is turd sauce. You can't even move diagonally. Okay, I mean, literally, like, fucking goddamn Legend of Zelda Link to the Past. Didn't it come out before this? Move diagonally in that bitch. This might have came out before Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, though. This looks pretty old. I know Actraiser was was definitely before that. Oh shit. There's a way you could shoot fireballs. Oh shit. Uh, uh. This might be before Link to the Past, so I'll give it a little credit if it's before. If this came out after Link to the Past, though, this game could suck my balls. In dick. Ocarina is the bomb diggity. I love Ocarina. The bomb diggity. Bomb diggity. I like to bag it up. Bag it up. I like the way you fuck it. No diggity. I like to bang the butt. Bang the butt. Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it, brother. Stargate on Mega Drive. I mean, you guys are picking some interesting games. Terranigma. Sky Blazer. I think Illusion of Gaia wasn't that. So I gotta get out. This game's a turd sandwich, guys. I I'm sorry. I can't fucking play that shit. Castle of Illusion's a good one, though. I'll play that. All I have on PS1 right now is this. So if you guys see any of this you wanna, you wanna see, we can play that. But we might have to do a part two of this stream here. Uh, come tomorrow, so I'm not. I'm off the next two days, so it'll be. If you guys want stream time, we can do stream time. Man, I ain't doing shit. I don't plan on going anywhere or doing anything tomorrow, so. Ani just don't know it yet. You gonna take me to my interview? No. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Call him on the phone. Tell him to give you the fucking job. <laughs> and you ain't got no time for no interviews. You're busy. <laughs> okay. You're just going to fart in the middle of the interview anyways and ruin it. No, One of them long ones, too, aren't you? No. Never. She'll be like, tell, tell me some good qualities about yourself. Arnie's going to be like... <laughs> That'd be you, not me. Yeah, I know. What's up? Arnie's farts. Oh, my God. If Arnie was a fart right now, guys, you would smell it all through your computers. No, you yes, you would, man. That's your fart. I've That's seen her kill one. people. I had I had a friend over one time and she what killed him, dude. What the fuck? Killed him. You've never had. It looked like the ark was opened up. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Be like, his fucking face. <laughs> it was horrendous. Don't let him lie to you. He's never had fun over. It was over. dumb. Never. She took a dump one time and the toilet melted. Shut up. It was ridiculous. Stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Girls don't poop. Yeah, right. You ever clean a woman's restroom before? Oh. <laughs> oh. No, I used to walk into them all the time. Ain't nothing like a fucking turd tampon Shut piss up. on the toilet seat combo that you gotta clean up. <gasps> Bleh. Bleh. 
What? Okay. There's a fucking double-sided dildo sticking out of there too. I don't know what they were doing in there. Was it black or white? It was horrible. And then they then they try to make girls' bathrooms all pink and flowery looking, like it's gonna help because there's fucking turds all over the damn ceiling well, I mean, you know. and shit. Like Jesus Lord, I've seen the shit. I've seen the shit. I had to clean girls' restrooms, and I, when I first started, I was like, oh, it ain't gonna be that bad, and one of my coworkers laughed when I said that. They're like, dude, you've never cleaned a woman's restroom before, have you? I was like, not yet. Little did I know, I was like, gullible. I was like, oh, I'm gonna go clean the restroom. I'll see you guys in a minute. Two days later, I come out just drenched in shit. It was awful. Disgusting. It was awful. It was awful. Absolutely <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> Uh, I think it's Mickey Mouse. Is it under Mickey Mouse? What? You don't know what I'm talking about, babe. Um, whatever. Yeah, here it is. Castle of Illusion. Mickey Mania is hard as fuck. Am I the only person that I, like that's never really gotten anywhere in Mickey Mania? I had that game when I was a kid, and like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. What kid ever beat Mickey Mania? I'll tell you guys right now, man, if you ever beat Mickey Mania as a kid, you got my utmost respect. That game's fucking insanity. Jesus Christ, man. Mickey Mania will just fucking stomp your face, fuck your wife, and kill your parents, and burn down your house. That game's ridiculously hard. That'll be one I'll try to sit down and really actually beat one of these days. But this game's not too bad. This game gets kind of... A little bit too hard there towards the end. I always felt like you walk too far to the right of the screen on this one. Like, it feels like the screen should scroll about right here when you're playing this game. But instead it starts scrolling way over here. So it's hard to see stuff coming sometimes. But since the game's so slow anyways, it doesn't really affect it too much. But I had this game when I was a kid. It's not bad. It's not a great game or anything, but... Chicon, the Forever Man, that game is just fucking insane. Whoever made that game is literally like the Antichrist. Like, nobody's ever beat that game legit. Like, I'm just gonna say it. Even people doing speedruns, they think they're the shit. Nah, you're cheater. You're cheating. Like, they're, they, for those that don't know about Chicon, the Forever Man, like, when you beat this game, like, after the credits, there's an there's a actual last boss. And you get one chance to fight it, and it's, like, harder than, like, Chinese algebra. Okay, and you get one shot to beat it, and it's after the credits, and you're not even expecting it. And you have to beat this fucking thing, and if you if you don't beat it, you don't get another chance, and the game is just over. And you, and you don't get the real ending. Okay, welcome to Chakan the Forever Man. Like, uh, watch, um, in the in Until We Win episode of it. Oh. He's it's upstairs in the fucking carrier. insane. Oh, he flattened Should me. Should I go get the cat? No, no. Yeah, go get him. <laughs> They're all he starts running around like a maniac. You're going to have to put him back up there, baby. He's knocking everything down and everything else. Well, they're all asking where he was. He's taking a nap. Whoa, he's so A forever nap. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> Ani always takes a joke too far. Oh, he's like, he's dead! <laughs> Everybody's like, awkward. Awkward. Oh, this fucking stupid part. Yeah, I turned the light out so he goes to sleep. Oh, I keep forgetting I have apples I can throw. Whenever I'm... Whenever, I don't know about you guys. Whenever I play a game that has, like... A, like, a, a, like a spendable ammo... I always use my attack that, that doesn't have the expendable ammo, because I always feel like I'm going to, like, run out of ammo. So I end up, like, not using it at all. That's just the way my brain thinks. Oh, oh okay, I made it anyways. Fuck y'all. Yeah, because he's fucking being a bad boy. Oh, I got it. What you doing, Sebastian? What you doing, Kit Kit Magooch? What you doing, Kit Kit Magooch? Kit Kit McGee. He's going right to the food. Let him eat the bread. Going right to the food. 
Here, eat the bread. He wants cuddles. Yeah. He wants. He's gonna knock over that mic, baby. Have to put him down. <laughs> oh, buddy, I can't hold you right now. Oh, this boss is easy. I remember this boss. Oh shit! I love you too, buddy, but I can't hold you right now, okay? I tried to hold you, but you want him down. He so wants me. Because I'm his human. Yeah, it's Woodman. If Woodman was a fucking retarded pile of shit. That's why I said this is Woodman. And Woodman's already a retarded pile of shit. Oh shit! Ah, he got me! Hey, got buddy. me with the acorns! Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, the cat was in my way. I blame the cat. Uh -oh. I love how the hole in the tree is like a perfect square. <laughs> it looks so terrible. Like, look how. It looks like a picture frame or something in the, in the tree. It does. It, it looks, looks terrible. And it's kind of like rounded edges. That's what I mean, it just looks garbage. I even thought that as a kid, I was like, that looks fucking terrible. It's like a perfect, like, plug. Oh shit. Look how much fucking hits this fucking prick takes. Die, you mofo! They look like apples, but they're actually grenades. About time, Jesus! You're watching DSP fail at games miserably. Well, I here's something I didn't know. You guys, if you guys didn't know, there's a. Uh, for those that don't make videos, you might not know. You might not have got the email, but they have this thing now that will detect when other people are using your footage in videos. And you can, like, immediately take those videos down. So, like, these videos that, like, are making fun of DSP and stuff, like, and, and it's, like, the basis for their whole channel, they might be gone fairly soon if DSP decides to be like, fuck y'all. Because that's, like, a new thing now. Like, I got an email about that. Like, there's, like, this detection system where they can detect, like, if you're using, like, if they're using your videos on their shit. So... DSP might be raining down some fucking vengeance on some of these people that are always fucking, uh, fucking with him all the time. I don't know if you guys knew about that or not. So it might be fucking Armageddon for some of these people, man. That's the first thing I thought about when I got that email. I was like, oh shit. These fucking people that always make fun of DSP are gonna get fucked. Yeah, so do not use other people's footage in your fucking videos, man. It'll get taken <laughs> down. Is that good bread right there, buddy? Is that good bread? Yeah, I got an email about that, dude. I was like, what the fuck? But, it, you know, if DSP does that, he's just going to be a bigger target. So he might not... Oh, God damn it, buddy. You fucking idiot. Oh, he turned down the volume. No, he fucking put the mic on. Mm. <sighs> He's always doing that. Damn it. Fucking with my TV settings. Don't put the attitude. He wants that bread now. He had a taste for it. Put it down in there, yeah. My cat, I love my cat, don't get me wrong, man, but he's he's just he's really, really clingy. And, you know, it's all, it's like, everything's on, on his time, and, like, it is cuddle time now. And sometimes you just ain't got time, you know? It gets to the point where it's just like, I would be doing nothing but cuddling this cat all fucking day. I mean, if it, if it was, like, his way sometimes. And he's, like, ravenous with the eating. Like, if you're eating anything, he wants it. I mean, he just does not care. He will just take it right out of your mouth. Like, you'll be in the middle of chewing it, and, and he will put his face in your mouth and take it out your mouth. He will he will cut your stomach open. 
and get it out of your stomach. Like, he does not care. Like, this cat is unlike any cat, and he will eat anything. Anything. He ain't like a normal cat. Like, you know how normal cats are, like, you know, picky with what they eat and shit? You know, they won't eat, they won't even eat some cat food. Like, this cat would eat shit. Like, if I forget to flush a toilet, this motherfucker's in the toilet eating turds. Stop. Like, you don't give a fuck. Ani forgets to flush the toilet a lot. No, I don't. Yeah. No, that's you. Nasty. <laughs> She's always clogging it all the time. <laughs> yes, sir. Like, usually dogs are like that. This cat acts like a dog with food. So when we're eating, we usually have to like put him upstairs because he'll just fucking attack you. This level stupid sauce. Go up and go back down. Let's do a level. We go up and then and then we, and then we go down. That's brilliant. Man, this Super Nintendo controller is tasty. I found so I, I found a. Uh, a controller at Walmart that had a it had a it had a piece of shit Super Nintendo like classic controller that came with it came with like a hint book too which was strange but it came with an adapter to turn your classic controllers into USB so it was like 9.99 it was like on clearance so the controller is fucking dog shit but it gave me the ability to use my Super Nintendo controller classic controller on the PC and on my RetroPie and stuff, so... That's dope right there, y'all. Yeah, I'm okay. I'm done with this game. Turds. Skyblazer, is that the next one? Skyblazer? Oh, Demon's Crest. That's a good one. Oh, Rex Ronin might be the next one. Nope. No, it's, uh, Bram Stoker's Dracula on the SNES. Light side Bob. <laughs> Alright, Dracula. It was Dracula, right? Let me go back. There's a lot of characters you guys always asking to come back and shit. Can't believe how many characters I have. It's funny you guys reference some of them, and Ani has like no fucking idea. You'll know soon enough, Bubba. I'm still waiting for the one I asked you to play. Which one? So, your my American Ash game. You haven't done it yet. You haven't given me the dollar yet. I don't have to. I live with you. Put the dollar in my g-string. You're about to get two hundred from me anyway, so fuck you. Give me some of that butt, and we'll call it a day. No. <laughs> Give me some of that booty hole. You give me the booty hole. I don't get booty hole. You give me the mouth hole then. You're a punk. Oh, what I what I even do? I push start. Is it gonna start? What I even pick? Hold on, let me back back out. I don't even know what I picked. I may have signed away my soul. I don't even know what the fuck that was. I pushed start and I went through like two menus. My brother had this game as a kid. When we were kids, he hated it. He bought it because he liked Castlevania. He thought it'd be like Castlevania. I was like, nope. You know, to this day, I've never seen this movie. Bram Stoker's Dracula. I know it's got Keanu Reeves in it. Uh, okay. I've never seen it. It looked retarded. Like, Dracula in it looked just horrendous. Is this movie supposed to be any good? Didn't... Wasn't this Coppola make this? You love this game? My brother hated it. I know the bosses were real goofy looking. I know there was like one guy with a whip or something and he didn't do anything but like move his arms back and forth. It was fucking weird. Look at this attack. That's fucking goofy. Oh yeah, these controls totally make sense. Oh no, I gotta back out and change these controls, they're turds.
the movie's boring. Don't waste your time. <laughs> yeah, I just remember one of the bosses was like, would just stand there, and all he would move was his arm back and forth. Like, barely had any animation. I'll try to get to that boss so you guys can see it. It's fucking retarded. Okay, babe, I'm cold. Can you turn off the air? Turn it off. You don't know how to turn it off? I'll turn it off. I turns it off for you. All right. Oh, yeah. Jump is B and sword is A. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Okay, so jumps B, swords A. Y? Oh, wait, this is Super Nintendo. Okay, so jumps B, sword is Y. What? Why won't it let me just fucking change it to whatever I want? I'm a grown ass man. What is this fucking stupid shit? Why can't I have the sword be Y? What a fucking bunch of turds. American Werewolf in London, man, that's a great movie. You ever seen that, babe? Huh? American Werewolf in London? No. It's a dandy. Of the gym van- they spelled vampire wrong. Bunch of fucking retards. Vampire. You bunch of idiots. I know it's a typo. It's a typo, guys. I'm so smart. They should have had me as a proofreader. Vampire. I know it's supposed to be spelled that way. We'll have like 50 comments being like, It's supposed to be that way, Rob. I saw it spelled in the olden days. The Empire. Does this game have to load? That was a load time. The fuck out of here. There's a missile button, and you don't even have missiles. Why would there be missiles back in the Bram Stoker Dracula days anyways? What is that supposed to be? Is that a dildo? You see, thinking of a dildo? Answer these questions for me. I don't want- I want answers! <laughs> Super Nintendo games didn't give a fuck, man. You know, like, even if you watch the movie, it's just like, here's a dog, and here's a homeless person flying at you, and, and, and here's, a, here's a drunk guy throwing beer bottles, and uh, there's dildos flying at your face, and getting gang raped. It's like, what the fuck is going on?! Welcome to Super Nintendo. This is Bram Stoker's Dracula. Like I said, I vaguely remember this game because my brother hated it when we were kids. Oh, well, that health really. It's really worth getting the health so I can immediately get fucking hit. Ugh, this game. Ugh. There's an arrow. Oh, well, yeah, I can go through the wall that doesn't even look like you could even go through it. Totally make change, big bear. Okay. What was that? What the fuck is even happening here? Look at this, the arrow's just... What the fuck? I bent down and the door exploded. I don't even care. Anymore. Fuck it. Nothing makes sense, and I don't even care. I gotta love this giant arrow, like, in the middle of the screen. Go heal! Here, go heal! It's for retard. No, that's when you know that the developers do not trust the level design at all. Take this arrow, follow the arrow. To be able to guide you, hey, so... Look, this game I can here's play. a, uh... <laughs> Beware! Okay. Oh, yeah, here's the... <laughs> Here's the boss, guys. Here's what I was talking about. And for some reason... No, for some reason, it won't let you go... Look, it won't let you go to the left side of the screen. So this boss has, like, one animation. Look. And this is, this, this is like, the only way to beat it. It's sperm. Yeah. Good boss design, right? Yo. Who fucking said this was good? Who loved this? Who is this? I gotta go back up and see. I gotta put them on a list. What? I gotta put them on a list. Who said this? Who loved this game? Int J Gaming. What the fuck, dude? I fucking trusted you! I fucking trusted you! <laughs> you reduced me. What the fuck, man? Who could love a game with a boss like that? It didn't even make any sense. What the fuck? <laughs> the boss had literally like half an animation. They did not even finish that fight. 
Oh my god, NJ Gaming, you're on the list. I'm worried about you now, bro. Alright, we'll play a little bit more of this turd sandwich. Because I'm gonna puke. Maybe I've got a load time on a Super Nintendo game! Jesus. Oh my god, it crashed. Oh no! It crashed! It's crashed all time! Crashing, bro. All right, guys, we'll play one more, and then we'll we'll continue this tomorrow. I believe it was... Yeah, Great Exposure. Rex Ronan, Experimental Surgeon. This ought to be interesting. Is that on Genesis or Super Nintendo? It's on Super Nintendo. Experimental surgeon? What does that even mean? Now, I would not go to a surgeon who, who says they're... Ex I miss experimental surgeon. Well, you know, I like to play around, you know. Put dicks on foreheads and just kind of you know, just surprise you. You just never know what you're going to get. I'll experiment. Okay, this isn't like college. You're going to experiment. Okay. Have some crazy sex or something. No, you're a surgeon. Get your shit together. Is it? Oh, here it is. I, I've never played this, bro. I've never, ever played this. And I don't even know if I've ever even watched gameplay of it. This is always like a ROM that's always been like stuck in with other ROMs. Like one of those common cards. Oh, okay. It looks like a first grader drew this. Did no. Chloe draw that, babe? Did Chloe draw this? She's not in first grade. <laughs> <laughs> she drew all? Did she draw this when she was in first grade? That looks like at least a fourth grader's drawing. Nah, it looks like a first grader did that. A blind first grader. Shut up. With no arms. I know. <laughs> My daughter did not even draw like that in first grade. Ah, uh, shit. Ooh, what the fuck? I'm in a mouth. In a mouth Ooh. What is this? It's called shit. What the fuck is this? Ew, it's like nothing else has slowdown but the character's movements. Am I cleaning someone's teeth? What the fuck? Oh no. F fucking way, dude. What? Why to pause? Chewing tobacco is not addictive. Okay. Thanks, <laughs> Will. Thanks, game. Appreciate it, bro. False. False? Is this a learning? <laughs> okay, I feel better now. I thought the game was like trying to push chewing tobacco on me there for a second. It's like you're good, bro. This game came with a like a fucking big chunk of chewing tobacco with it. What the fuck? Each cigarette you smoke. Why what is happened? it giving you facts? I don't know. Why is this even the the Wait, real world? Are you cleaning off teeth? Yeah. Okay. It's telling you that smoking is not hygienic. Okay. Food. I've smoked. Uh, I've smoked, and I've, they've never left fucking turd smears all over my teeth. Hey, chewing tobacco and snuff cannot cause cancer of the mouth. If you say so. False. <laughs> it does. <laughs> I seriously thought the game was like trying to tell me that like, chewing tobacco was like good for you or something. This game's got propaganda. Using tobacco products makes your teeth clean. Okay, how do I, how do I say... F how do I say f false? Oh, this is a true or false thing? It's a true or false thing, I think. I don't this is a turd sandwich. This is what you call stupid. Oh my god. Oh my god. None of the other buttons even do any... What is this retard kick supposed to be? Blech! It's like a ballerina mixed with like a kung fu. Oh god, what is happening? Am I in a butthole now? No, you're in the back of the throat. Is that what this is? Yeah. There's the uvula. The uvula? That's what it's called. It's not called the uvula. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. That's the ball sack, babe. No, that's the uvula. That's the ball sack. It's not the uvula. Yes, it is. Is not the uvula. It is. It's called something else. I know it's not the uvula. It's called the uvula. It's a ball sack. Well, I'm getting red. What is this? I can't even move the slowdown everywhere. I can't even look. Look, I can't do nothing. Do I just have infinite health? What's the point of this? <laughs> okay, Google. 
What's the thing hanging in the back of your throat called? It's not a uvula. Yeah, look at the face in the top corner, dude. He's like... I told you it was called what? the uvula. I told you it was <laughs> called the uvula. You guys heard me. I was trying to tell her it was a uvula. Yeah. She's like, no, it's the ball sack. I was like, baby, the ball sack's between the legs. What are you even talking about? Yeah. You're a retard. No, I'm man. right. God, unbelievable. You just can't face the fact that you were wrong. I feel a crash broom with this game. I feel a crash. This is Courtney's mouth. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is Courtney's mouth. That's funny. That's totally true. Uh, what is this great exposure? What the fuck, bro? <laughs> what am I even supposed to do? Smoking may lead to early wrinkles? <laughs> <laughs> am I in the twilight zone? True, though. True! Okay, can I, like, leave this fucking... What am I supposed to do? What? Ugh! Ah! Can you not scream? I can scream all I want. All day. Smack you. So I guess I'm just supposed to. This is like I'm cleaning someone's mouth simulator. Yes, you're being this is this is just straight up sperm right here. Someone like fucking busted a nut in the back of their throat. Look at this. <laughs> Look at this. I'm cleaning up nut. Oh. It crashed. Oh no! Oh, man, the game keeps crashing, man. Can you believe that? You're ridiculous. It crashed. Oh. It crashed, baby. Did you fart? Nope. She farted. The cat did. Uh, it wasn't me. It was the you cat. You better check your diaper. <laughs> it was. Stop. You better check that diaper stop. of yours. All right, bitches. Why are you going to be so embarrassing? Why are you going to be so embarrassing? All right, bitches. I'm out. Call tonight, but I'll stream tomorrow. Keep in mind, all the, if, you, if you donate for a game, just remind me tomorrow. And I really appreciate the donations, guys. Really helped me out a lot. This was a really fun stream, so... But yeah, this, this, with my predicament going on right now, man, it's fucking really helps. So I appreciate it, guys. But I'll, I'll see you guys tomorrow. We will pick up where we left off. Sometime. We will. All right. Night, guys. You guys have a good one. Bye! Bye! See you.